Rahul Swami on the debate at 9. Presented by Amity University. Powered by R.P. Sanjeev Goenka. Policy Bazaar. Co-powered by Bell Coal. Good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen. And the latest is that Rahul Gandhi has threatened that the country will burn. Rahul Gandhi says, Aag lag jayegi. The country will burn if Narendra Modi gets elected to a third term and any changes are made to the constitution. In Hindi, he has said, Aag lag jayegi desh mein. Aag lag jayegi. Which literally means that the country will be on fire. Now, there are no two ways of looking at it. So it is totally clear to me that Rahul Gandhi, on behalf of the Indian National Congress, has said that he will set the country ablaze. If someone else wins and if the winning sides makes changes to the constitution with the numbers that they have. Now what does Rahul Gandhi's Aag Lag Jayegi comment imply? First, that he is absolutely certain that the NDA will get over two-thirds majority in the Lok Sabha. Two, that making changes to the constitution is okay if you're from the Vadra Gandhi family, which you've been doing all these years. But not okay if you're not from the Vadra Gandhi family. It basically means that if Robert Vadra becomes Prime Minister of India, he can make all the changes he wants. But not if anybody outside the Vadra Gandhi family makes changes. Three, this is a classic script in my view of a poor loser. It's like saying you will dig up the cricket pitch if you lose. It is like some kind of a toddler tantrum, but with one very dangerous implication. Rahul Gandhi is threatening to tear my country down if he loses. And that is why to him I say, Rahul Gandhi, the country is not your private property to do as you please. Your family doesn't own the country. And if you want to make changes to the constitution, first learn how to win. First go get a two-thirds majority. You can't even win Amethi. Changes to the constitution cannot be done randomly anyway. And Mr. Gandhi, when will you learn? The constitution allows for a change in the constitution as per a set procedure. Fundamentally, first you have to have the numbers, you have to learn how to win. And if you are certain that you will lose, I have a three word piece of advice for you, Mr. Gandhi. Get a life. Leave our country alone. We're debating that tonight, viewers. First, Agalag Jayagi comment of Rahul Gandhi. Do people talk like this? It's not funny. It's not funny anymore, viewers. This is dangerous. Aag lag jayegi. What does he mean, Aag lag jayegi? Debate number two tonight. Sanjay Singh, right hand man of Kejriwal, gets bail. Where's the money trail? If they are going to get bail, where's the money trail? Debate number three tonight. Baba Ramdev go to the Supreme Court to say sorry, Supreme Court is unmoved. It's really furious at Baba Ramdev. Apology unaccepted. Big blow to Patanjali. Debate 3 and here are the headlines. This Tuesday evening on the debate tonight. Congress ke shahi parivar ke sahajade ne sahajade ne alan kiya hai ki agar desh ne tisri baar BJP sarkar ko chuni आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी सेस राहुल गांधी एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर गिव्स इट बैक आफ्टर राहुल्स इंडिया विल बर्न कमेंट ये ये कहा गया अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा पिछले आठ नौ साल में मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया and that's her expose atishi has a 10 am press conference says i am going to be the next one to be arrested 
This is old tactic and ploy of Mr. Kejriwal to save his own skin. He can go to any extent when he has cheated Anna Hazare and other senior leaders of AAP. What are Atishi and Saurabh? BJP hits back at the AAP after fires a certified liar jibe after Atishi's Operation Lotus claim. Meanwhile, interesting turn of events. The ED does not oppose. Does not oppose granting bail to Sanjay Singh. Kejriwal in. Sanjay Singh gets bail. He's coming out. Supreme Court massively pulls, pulls up Ramdev over the Patanjali controversy of misleading advertisements. And cracks widen in the Indy. Pinare Vijayan slams Rahul's Wayanad candidature once again. And ladies and gentlemen, Rahul Gandhi had accused the BJP of match fixing and had said that if the BJP wins the polls and changes the constitution, then the country will be on fire. Aag lag jayegi, Rahul Gandhi said. Today there was a fierce retort from the Prime Minister, which has brought the focus on this absurd threat from the Vadra Gandhi family. If they lose, let's debate. Match fixing ka chunao. BJP jite. Koi is pure desh mein aag lagne ja rahi hai. Aag lagne ja rahi hai. Sahajade ne alaan kiya hai. Ki agar desh ne tisri baar BJP sarkar ko chuni. Aag lagne ja rahi hai. Aag lagne ja rahi hai. With Lok Sabha polls just days away, Rahul Gandhi has issued a big warning. If in Hindustan there is a match fixing of the match, BJP will win. And after that, they have changed the situation. So in this whole country, Prime Minister Modi has called out Rahul Gandhi's emergency mindset. Congress ke shahi parivar ke sahajade ne sahajade ne alan kiya hai ki agar desh ne tisri baar BJP sarkar ko chuni aag lag jayegi. साठ साल तक देश पर राज करने वाले दस साल सत्ता से बाहर क्या रह गए अब देश में आग लगाने की बात कर रहे हैं राहुल गांधी हैज एंडेड अप मेकिंग प्रोवोकेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स एवरी टाइम ही ट्राइज टू काउंटर बीजेपी नैरेटिव मोदी जी चाहते हैं कि आप दिन भर दिन भर मोबाइल पे रहो जय श्री राम बोलो और भूखे मर जाओ भारत माता की जय मगर ये भारत माता है कौन ये है क्या सवाल है सरकार का सिस्टम हमारा इंस्टीट्यूशनल सिस्टम जो है पूरा का पूरा उसमें ओबीसी की कितनी भागीदारी है दलितों की कितनी भागीदारी है आदिवासियों की कितनी भागीदारी है ये हिंदुस्तान के सामने मेन सवाल है असुरा शक्ति से लड़ाई हो रही है ठीक है नफरत भरी असुरा शक्ति कांग्रेस टेयर्स एट एन एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस एज सेवरल टॉप लीडर्स है पार्टी What message does Rahul Gandhi want to send across the country? Is the country responsible for Congress's falling vote share? Let's debate. And I reviewers my hashtag is clearly our counter to this aag lag jayegi comment. My hashtag is Aag Nahi Lagegi. Hum Hamare Desh Ko Aag Lagane Nahi Denge. Aag Koi Lagane Ki Koshish Karega To Aag Ko Bujhayenge. We want to build not burn. Build not burn. 
आग नहीं लगेगी और फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस इवनिंग विद अद्वैता काला अद्वैता आई डोंट नो इफ यू सॉ दिस कॉमेंट एक्चुअली स्केप माई अटेंशन बट वेन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्पोक अबाउट इट आई वेंट एंड सॉ राहुल गांधी स्पीच आई कुड नॉट बिलीव दैट एनी मच्योर पर्सन कैन टॉक लाइक दिस आग लगा देंगे आग लग जाएगी वॉट यू मीन बाई दैट आप हारेंगे आपकी वाइप आउट होने वाली है और आप कह रहे हैं हम आग लगा देंगे आग क्यों लगाएंगे आप आपकी जागीर है डू यू ऑन द कंट्री रोमेश सबरवाल टू मेक द कंट्री बर्न अद्वैता काला डू यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द डिबेट लेट मी गेट यू इन अद्वैता well i think i think it's pure instigation there is no other way to look at it uh, fortunately for india not too many people buy into rahul gandhi's vision of the country so we can be quite as well assured that aag nahi lag lagegi desh ko jo bhi prayatna ho uske bawajood aag nahi lagegi desh ko i mean my sympathies with him he's fighting what looks like a losing battle at this point and he forward one of incitement of spreading discord of creating insecurity amongst people that's the message that he all has to offer and then he has the gall to say that i am running a mohabbat ki dukaan now please tell me where is the mohabbat it's only incitement and frankly it's a very dangerous game that he's playing for himself the country is sensible but he himself the kind of messaging he's doing is very very dangerous आग क्यों लगाएंगे आप बताइए मिस्टर सबरवाल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस बाय द वे आई थिंक अद्वैता अद्वैता आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू इन द कोर्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम टू पुट आउट द हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी वी मस्ट नो वी मस्ट मेक अ काउंटर वायरल थिंग आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने नहीं देंगे अद्वैता काला ट्वीट करें पहला ट्वीट करें हैश आग नहीं लगेगी राहुल जी आग नहीं लगेगी बीजेपी के जो स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग बीजेपी अगर इनको और एक बार वो जीत मिलेगा तो ये लोग आग लगा दे नहीं उन्होंने नहीं कहा ये, ये, यही टोन एंड टेनर यही है बेसिकली इंटेंशन ही है कोई हम कोई आ, इस देश के अंदर तो हमने अपनी जाने दी है राहुल गांधी सेट इफ द बीजेपी विंस दिस इलेक्शन if the bjp wins this election and makes changes to the constitution then the whole country will be on fire and he has said mark my words this country will not survive he has said this country will die he has said the country will die the country will burn and the congress party when it was in power has brought in how many constitution amendments How many constitution amendments have you brought in? Anlaji, There is a process, Article 368 of the Constitution provides the process for constitution amendment. Article 368 of the Constitution says the Parliament may, in exercise of the constituent power, amend by way of addition, variation, or delete or repeal any provision of this Constitution in provision with the procedures laid down in this article. So my question is, if somebody wins. and has those kind of numbers to make appropriate changes as mandated within the constitution your response to it cannot be to say aag lag jayegi you have crossed the limit you have said aag lag jayegi you have said effectively aag laga denge you have said my country will not survive i need an answer to that no i need to say that don't try and dodge it today don't dodge it don't dodge it don't dodge it iska matlab bahut gambhir hai i am telling you enough is enough no 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 okay uh, you 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 tell okay you go on a versus with gorawari you go on a versus with gorawari you explain it to him tonight you explain it to him tonight second is aag nahi lagegi is on blood he has said aag lag jayegi and saying aag nahi lagegi lagane nahi denge jalane nahi denge raj nahi karne denge my country will grow you can lose the election if you are a loser if you are a bad loser if you are forever loser if you always want to lose the Dada, if you have, how, many how many constituents how many changes how many everyone is there how many changes has he brought to the constitution how many changes how many changes has he brought to the constitution how many changes has he brought to the constitution how many changes did his father bring to the constitution how many changes did his grandfather grandmother bring to the constitution i say aag nahi lagegi i tell you okay it will not allow it will not allow constitution change sacrifice legacy what does he mean upon rahul gandhi the symbol of rajiv What do you mean? Rahul Gandhi is symbol of Mahatma Gandhi. You said Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi is symbol of India Gandhi. Sure, he is a symbol. 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 S
is young age. Sure. At the age of 12 years, he has seen the good people. Stop trying to play the emo card on me. There's no emo card. Emo card does not work. Emotional card does not work. Who has sacrificed the country? The debate is on you. Viewers, viewers, there are only two choices to this debate, Gaurav. One is आग लग जाएगी और हैश टैग इज वॉट आई बिलीव एवरी वन ऑन आग नहीं लगेगी और जो लोग आग लगाना चाहते हैं उनको आग लगाने नहीं देंगे ये अभी से हार के डर से कहना शुरू कर दिया आग लग जाएगी देखते हैं कौन है पीपल कौन है वो जो आग लगाएंगे गौरव भाटिया इज ऑन द डिबेट गौरव भाटी से ज्यादा नजर आता है अब गौरव भाटी अकबर का बेटा नजर आता है हम कोई राजा महाराजा के बेटे नहीं है। What do you mean अकबर का बेटा? मैं ये कह रहा हूँ। What do you mean by references like that? शहजादा मुझे कह रहा था। क्यों बोलते हैं शहजादा? हम एक नागरिक हैं देश के। हम एक क्या शहजादा बोलते हैं? हम लोगों ने क्या किया इस देश के लिए? प्रधानमंत्री राहुल गांधी को राहुल गांधी के नाम से बोले ना? हम तो मुझसे बहुत ही बोलते हैं, हम तो प्रधानमंत्री बोलते हैं। वो क्यों कहता आग लग जाएगी? क्यों बोलते हैं? आग लग जाएगी क्यों? हम नहीं बोलते हैं। अब गौरव बारी, अब गौरव बारी। हमें हमें क्यों शजादा बोलेंगे? हमें क्यों बोलेंगे? जब विरासत में कुछ नहीं मिला, हम भी एक नागरिक हैं, देश के गवर्नमेंट सिटीजन हैं। Viewers, this debate is happening in the context of the atrocious comment of Rahul Gandhi कि आग लग जाएगी। हर हर आदमी को नीचा दिखाने कोशिश करते हैं ऐसे इस देश में कई प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऐसे नहीं हुए पहली बार इस देश के अंदर इस तरह की हरकतें हो रही है नहीं लगेगी आप पाकिस्तान में होता है कि पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे अपनी जान दे देंगे तो वेरी मीनिंगफुल डिबेट सीरियस डिबेट वांट टू कंट्रीब्यू � I'm down, sir. Arnab, I've noticed in the past few months, Arnab. Rahul Gandhi has just completely lost it. And Narendra Modi ji raised this point because it concerns the country. It concerns every citizen of the country. I'll tell you why. Rahul Gandhi is, in plain and simple language, trying to incite people by saying, Aag lag jayegi. वो तो चाहते हैं कि आग लगे देश में एंड आई एम यू नो रिकॉलिंग अ स्टेटमेंट बाय सोनिया गांधी व्हेन शी सेड इन 2019 अपोजिंग सीए दैट आर पार की लड़ाई है डू यू नो व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट दिल्ली राइट्स टू प्लेस एंड 50 इनसेंट सिटिजेंस दे लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ सो राहुल गांधी आल्सो हैज दैट स there should be a civil war in India, one community against the other, spewing venom, hatred. Ye hai unki mohabbat ki dukaan. Second, when he says that agar constitution ko amend kiya, so let me tell you as a student of law, the constitution has been amended 106 times. There is a provision, as you rightly said, article 368. Oh, that's the point, yeah. But yeah, the yeah, problem yeah. is when members of his family Indra Gandhi amended the constitution and even the preamble. Preamble has only been amended once in 1976 and two words were added, secular and socialist. And she wanted a committed judiciary and she also increased the tenure of the Lok Sabha and the assemblies to six years. The Supreme Court had to intervene. So Rahul Gandhi first... first Look into the history of his family, how they've played with the constitution, destroyed institutions, and Indira Gandhi even invoked emergency. My third point, when Narendra Modi ji is talking about a positive agenda, and he has amended the constitution for what? Let me spell it to the viewers. Article 370, abrogated, constitution amended. Good for our country. Good for various sections of society like the Valmiki Samaj and the women of Kashmir. Second instance, women reservation, constitution amended. Women have been empowered. Third, GST and economic reform that the Congress promised, constitution amended. And we see how India has become the fifth largest economy. Fourth example, EWS, economically weaker section reservation. Constitution amended, 10% reservation given. You have a tool, it is your power. But Modi ji has used the tool to empower the citizenry of the country. The Gandhi Parivar has always used the constitution to violate the rights 
of the individuals to deprive them of their dignity to put them behind bars and that is the mindset of rahul gandhi also and i will now end by saying rahul gandhi ke kuch bayan dekhiye ye 15 20 din mein unhone kaha ishwar rai nach rahi thi insulting every female in the country he said media ki jaat kya hai insulting the fourth pillar of democracy he said match fixed ho gaya hai that means the congress and the indi alliance partners morale is very down they know they are losing they will not even remain a double digit party and in the end i would say up ke ladke nashedi hai ab nashedi kon hai ये तो सब पूछ रहे हैं ये कौन सा नशा कर रहे हैं राहुल गांधी लड़ रहे हो या डिबेट्स के इंटरसेक्शन कर रहे हो बयान देते हैं और अंत करूंगा भारत में आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगी है कांग्रेस की बस्ती में राहुल गांधी फुल मस्ती में ये है सच्चाई अर्ना वाह भाई वाह वाह हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है अनफॉर्चुनेट हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है पर हम देश को पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने दें हम मोदी जी को राहुल गांधी को किसी भी टिप्पणी में झाक के देखिए आप अपने राहुल गांधी देखिए चुनाव चुनाव होना चाहिए मैनिफेस्टो के ऊपर आपका विजन क्या है इस कंट्री के लिए आपका विजन क्या है गरीबी आप ये बताइए तो राहुल गांधी जो कह रहे हैं यूपी के लड़के ने शेडी की क्या हालत है देश को पहुंचा दिया आप लोगों ने आज राहुल गांधी को पहुंचा दिया ऐश्वर्य राय ये कुछ देश अरे मैनिफेस्टो की बात करिए बताइए आप लोगों ने मैनिफेस्टो राहुल गांधी ने मीडिया से जांच कैसे पूछी इसके लिए क्या करें क्या मीडिया में आजम गोस्वामी की जांच की वजह से वो इतने बड़े पत्रकार सर आग लगाने में वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन से� और आपके इधर जो अलाइड पार्टी से उनको भी स्क्रीन पर रखें वो रीना रीना जी बैठी हुई आम आदमी पार्टी से तो मैं उनके सामने आपको एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं जरा मुझे बताइए कि 1976 में जब आपने इमरजेंसी करवाई नसबंदी कराई 18 18 अप्रैल को 1967 में तुर्कमान तुर्कमान गेट मैसेकर में कितने लोगों को आपने मारा कितने लोगों की घर की घर के घर में आग लगाई मुझे बताइए माय इंफॉर्मेशन इज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल वर इंजर्ड दे वर शॉट एट पॉइंट ब्लैंक बाय योर गवर्नमेंट आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है 1984 एंटी सिख राइट में कितनी बार इंस्ट्रक्शन दी गई कि सिखों को पकड़ पकड़ के मारो और और एच एस फुलका ने कहा कि द इंस्ट्रक्शन के डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस राजीव गांधी वन मिनट वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स लॉस दे लाइफ मिनिमम अनऑफिशियल एस्टिमेट सर एट थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड कितने लोगों कितने सिखों के घरों में आग लगाई आपने आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है सोबरवाल जी इंदिरा गांधी ने जब इमरजेंसी डिक्लेयर की कितने लोगों की फोर्स नसबंदी स्टेरिलाइजेशन की आपने आग लगाई आप मुझे बताइए जब जब लाखों कश्मीरी पंडितों को कश्मीर छोड़ना पड़ा तब आपने कितने कश्मीरी पंडितों के घर में आग लगाई आपने आज कहा आग लगेगी मैं पूछ रहा हूं रीना जी से एक मिनट रीना जी आपको हर चीज में हा में हा मिलाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टी हैं आप इस मुद्दे पर ऐसे ही प्रो कांग्रेस लाइन लेके अपने सपोर्टर्स लूज करेंगे अब कोई कह रहा है कि अगर इलेक्शन हुआ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस की गई तो आग लगाएंगे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट्स आर टोटली लीगल वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट लेट मी टेल यू द वर्ड सेक्यूलर एंड सोशलिस्ट which are debatable words were brought in in 1976 when the country was under an internal emergency opposition leaders were in jail that time opposition <laughs> opposition not me that time <laughs> indira gandhi <laughs> indira gandhi amended the preamble at the state of emergency to bring in the word secular and socialist i know how socialist she was now my question is the 42nd amendment brought in by the congress provided for the curtailment of fundamental rights coercively imposes fundamental duties and brings changes to the basic structure of the constitution by making india socialist secular republic 
when you make changes to the constitution, you say we are totally, uh, we, totally, one minute, one minute, let me, you say we are totally entitled to, because you've got to understand the constitution is a living and breathing document. And I say, okay, the constitution is a living and breathing document, but the constitution is continuing to be a living and breathing document when you're out of power also. So my question to Reena is, do you support this Aag Lag Jayegi, Aag Lagayenge, that kind of comment, do you agree with it, Reena? Reena from the Ahmadmi Party. I am I am asking you. Would you say Aag Lag Jayegi or Aag Nahi Lagne Denge? Mislead, mislead, not mislead. This what, I am asking you. Mis what mis 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 People are watching Arnab. this. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Why Reena. Please, Reena. Rahul ji has said that ki Aag Lag Jayegi. Aapka aapka desh hai. Hamara desh. Ab kaise Aag Lag Jayegi? Hamara desh hai. Aag Lag Jayegi. Aap kaun hote hain? Aap kaun hote hain Aag Lagane ke liye? Hum to jaan dene wale Reena. Reena. Yes, Reena. All years, listening Arnab, to you. आज मंगलवार का दिन है और आज मंगलवार का शुभ दिन है अर्नब और बजरंग बली की दया से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो अपना एक्सटॉर्शन डिपार्टमेंट ईडी चला रखा है आज उसको लगाम मिली है आज संजय सिंह को बेल मिली है और ईडी का पर्दाफाश हो गया है आज कोर्ट में ईडी से पूछा गया कि आपके पास मनी ट्रेल कहां है दिखाइए ईडी के पास दिखाने के लिए कुछ नहीं था और बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गया कि ये जो इतने दिन से भाजपा ही बोलते रहते थे शराब घोटाला शराब घोटाला ये कुछ शराब घोटाला हुआ नहीं है ये सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के द्वारा लिखी मनोहर कहानियां पहली बात दूसरी बात अर्नब आज बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन इसलिए भी है क्योंकि संजय सिंह एक अकेले नेता है जिनको ईडी से बेल मिली है बिना भारतीय जनता पार्टी में जाए हुए अभी तक ऐसा चला आ रहा था कि ईडी की रेट पड़ती थी ईडी अरेस्ट करती थी और वो नेता चले जाते थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अपने आप को बेल दिलवाने के लिए लेकिन क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी के सारे नेता इंक्लूडिंग संजय सिंह सारे के सारे नेता जो है एकदम कट्टर ईमानदार नेता है और किसी ने कोई गलत काम नहीं किया आज कोर्ट के सामने बिल्कुल भारतीय जनता पार्टी को मुंह की खानी पड़ी जब कोर्ट ने कहा कि आप दिखाइए कहा मनी ट्रेल है आप अपोज करिए अगर आप आप नहीं दिखा सकते तो आप बेल को अपोज करिए ईडी एकदम चुप हो गई और संजय सिंह को बेल मिली तो आज ये बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन है एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आना मुझे कंप्लीट करने दीजिए दूसरी बात अगर देश में आग लगेगी आग लगाने की आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी गेट मी ब्रिंग मी ऑन एयर ऑन दिस विंडो रीना जी आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी आप कह रहे आग लगेगी ओनली टू व्यूज राहुल गांधी ने कहा आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं मुझे बोलने तो वो कह रहे आग लग जाएगी अगर हम हार गए मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी ने आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मुझे मैं ये जानना बोलने तो बिल्कुल दूंगा मगर मेरे जवाब तो दे दीजिए कि आग लगे आप कह दीजिए आग नहीं लगेगी डू अग्री और डिसग्री ये आग लगने वाली बात क्या है कोई हारता है कोई जीतता है कोई चेंजेस लाता है कोई नहीं लाता है मगर आप अगर ये कहना शुरू करें कि आप मैं हार गया तो आग लगा दूंगा ये क्या ये कैसी बात हो गई मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी ये आप इस आपको इस पर पोजीशन लेना होगा रीना यू कैन नॉट अवॉइड दिस क्वेश्चन यू बहुत सीरियस क्वेश्चन इट्स माय कंट्री इट्स योर कंट्री इट्स आवर इट्स नो 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 आई आई डोंट वांट नो नो मैं केजरीवाल जी के पूरे इशू पर और उस पर सेकंड डिबेट में रहा है मैं आज कह रहा हूं कि सबसे बड़ा मुद्दा है कि एक राजनीतिक दल के नेता आगे कहते हैं मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी मैं हार गया तो आप आग लग जाएगी क्यों आग लगेगी भाई आप दो में हार गया आग लग गई दो में हार गया आग लग गई अब आपको लग रहा है तीसरी बार हार गए तो आग लग जाएगी क्यों लगेगी आग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस लगाए गए तो आग लग जाएगी सौ से ज्यादा चेंजेस आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में आप खुद ला चुके हैं तो आग क्यों लगेगी 1974 में इकहत्तर में आप चेंजेस लाए तब आग नहीं लगी आग, आग लग जाएगी वाली क्या बात है इस पर पॉइंट मैं पॉइंटेड आई जस्ट आई कंप्लीटली वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हाउ कैन यू अग्री विद दिस कॉमेंट आग लग जाएगी ये इमोशनल बात है आप देश के नवयुवकों को सबको कह रहे हैं आग लगा देंगे अगर हम हार गए तो ये क्या बात हुई रीना जी वन मिनट ये आग लग जाएगी आग नहीं लगेगी आप बोलिए आप ट्वीट कीजिए आज आज नहीं लगेगी कोई भी राजनीतिक डिफरेंसेस है पॉलिटिकल डिफरेंसेस जरूर थे हैं और रहेंगे मगर ये कहना आग लग जाएगी ये क्या बचपन है ये क्या आग लग जाएगी आग मैं कह रहा हूं मैं जानता हूं आग लग जाएगी आई एम टेलिंग यू मुझे सब कुछ पता है मैं ज्ञानी हूं आग लग जाए आग क्यों लगेगी जो भी चुनाव आप कहते हैं फिक्स मैच है अगर आपको लगता है फिक्स मैच है रीना जी बडोरी आजी तो चुनाव मत लड़िए कहीं हम बहिष्कार कर रहे हैं फिक्स मैच है आप लड़ेंगे भी 
आपके एमपी जीते तो आप जाएंगे भी संसद में और बाहर पर कहेंगे फिक्स्ड मैच है आग लगा देंगे आग लगेगी ये क्या बात हुई ये क्या बात हुई ये कैसी भाषा है वाई यू अलाउंग इट आप कही आज रीना आप अपने ट्विटर हैंडल से ट्वीट कीजिए हैश आग नहीं लगेगी I am requesting all people tonight. Rina ji, आज बिल्कुल चुप हो गई है सुधीन भदौरिया जी भी चुप है क्योंकि इनको हिम्मत नहीं है हैश टैग लगाइए आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगने नहीं देगी पारिवारिक संपत्ति नहीं है आग लग गई नहीं मैं बोलने दूंगा नेरेटिव नहीं है इसको नेरेटिव ना कहे ये नेरेटिव ना बोलिए आप बोलिए रीना जी आप बोलिए आप बोलिए हमें तो दिक्कत हमें चिंता आपकी हो रही है अरे मैं तो बोल रहा हूँ आग लग जाएगी देश खत्म हो जाएगी क्या बात है अरे आप हार गए तो देश खत्म हो जाएगी खुद ही दे रहे हो सवाल भी खुद आग लग जाएगी आग लगा देगा तब ना अरे आपको ही पूछ रहा हूँ ना आपको प्रोवोक कर रहा हूँ कि आप जवाब दे आप लोग बिल्कुल खड़े हैं ट्रांसफिक्स आप समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं क्या कहे राहुल गांधी के कमेंट अच्छा बोलिए मैं चुप हूँ अच्छा आई एम क्वाइट आई एम क्वाइट यू से आप पहले पहले रीना जी बोले फिर भडौरिया जी बोले सब बोले भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी कोशिश करेगी आग लगाने की लेकिन मेरे देश में आग नहीं लगेगी क्योंकि हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी को आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं लगाने देंगे दस साल से भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोशिश मैं कर रहा हूं देश में आग नहीं लगेगी लेकिन हम नहीं लगाने देंगे आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने की बात कौन कर रहा है आग आग नहीं, नहीं लगेगी और आप, आप कह रहे नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग नहीं लगेगी आप आग लगाने की बात क्यों कर रहे हैं चुप क्यों है सुधीन्द्र भटौरिया जी ट्रेंडिंग सब्जेक्ट है देश के लोग मेरे साथ राहुल गांधी के साथ नहीं आग लगेगी आग लगाने आप बोलिए सुधीन्द्र जी लेकिन मेरा देश महान है और हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम नहीं लगने देंगे हमें तो लग रहा है हमें तो लग रहा है अनब ट्रेंड आप अनब आपके दिमाग में जरूर आग लग गई है अनुराग भदौरिया को सुरेंद्र भदौरिया बोल रहे हैं तो आग तो आपके दिमाग में लगी है तो आपके दिल में जो आग लगी है उसको पहले बुझाइए उसके बाद हम कुछ कहें सवाल है जब आप अपनी अंदर में आग लगाए हैं जो वो आग बुझाइए फिर किसी को बोलने का मौका दीजिए सवाल राष्ट्रवाद की सोच को बुझा दू तब आप खुश होंगे मैं राष्ट्रवादी नहीं रहूं तो आप खुश रहेंगे इफ आई से आई एम नॉट ए नेशनलिस्ट यू बी हैप्पी बुझा दूं मैं नहीं बुझेगी नहीं बुझेगी अरे मेरे अंदर की आग जो है वो नहीं बुझेगी वो नहीं बुझेगी जब तक ये सारे एंटी नेशनल के खिलाफ मेरा कैंपेन खत्म ना हो अनुराग भदौरिया रीना जी को कुछ और नाम से बुलाने लगेंगे तो आप तो भूल रहे खुद इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूँ की आप शांत हो पानी पीजिए दिमाग को ठंडा तो आपको कह रहा हूँ अनुराग भदौरिया अनुराग भदौरिया जी देखो आप अनुराग भदौरिया यू अग्री विद दिस कमेंट आप अच्छा देखिए सवाल ये सवाल ये बोलिए इस देश के अंदर में कोई भी देखो बेरोजगारी की जिंदगी में तो बेरोजगारों की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आग लगी हुई है वो बेरोजगारी से आत्महत्या कर रहे हैं तो उनकी तो उनकी जो बेरोजगारी है वो तो खत्म करो सवाल ये सवाल ये छात्रों पे आप लाठियां बरसा रहे हो छात्री की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आपने आग लगा रखी है उनका पेपर लीक हो जाता है वो जिंदगी से वैसे ही जूझ रहे हैं किसान वैसे ही परेशान उसकी जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है उसकी जिंदगी में चारों रुपए एमएसपी की गारंटी नहीं मिल रही है उनको धरना प्रदर्शन करना पड़ता है महिलाओं की जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है जो अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए अपनी अप, अपनी बचाने के लिए अपनी उनके ऊपर जो अत्याचार हो रहा है वो लड़ रही है मणिपुर में मणिपुरी घटना देखो या चाहे महिला पहलवानों की देखो या कहीं आप बी घटना देखो किसने उनकी जिंदगी में आग लगाई है सवाल ये है तो इसलिए आपको समझना पड़ेगा देश के जो असली मुद्दे हैं उस मुद्दों पे चर्चा नहीं करके आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी अरे आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी ऐसा बोलो जैसे लग रहा है आग लग रही है कहाँ आग लग रही है ऐसा आपके अंदर भूत सवार हो गया आग लग गई कहाँ लग गई किधर लग गई अरे आग का मतलब तो समझो 
कि आग लग जाएगी अरे आग मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा लोगों मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा जिस तरह से परेशान नहीं कहा लोग मैंने नहीं कहा ये राहुल गांधी का कॉमेंट है इट इज राहुल गांधी कॉमेंट की आग लग जाएगी मैंने नहीं कहा सॉरी भदौरिया जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं कहा नेवर सेड यूज दर्ड आप ही बोल रहे जब इट्स नॉट माई वर्ड मैं मच्छर आदमी हूँ आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी अरे भैया तिरासी परसेंट युवा बेरोजगार है आई की रिपोर्ट है आप क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं कौन करेगा उनकी जिंदगी को खुशी कौन देगा आप बताइए मुझे महंगाई चल रही खुशी कौन देगा मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ आपसे देश के युवाओं के बारे में कभी चर्चा होगी नहीं होगी की आग लग जाएगी आपको मैं कह रहा हूँ राहुल गांधी से ये आग नहीं ये क्या हो रहा है आग लग जाएगी कमेंट हैज बीन मेड बाय राहुल मिस्टर भडौरिया आप गलत कह रहे हैं ना ही इज नॉट इवन मेकिंग वन इज राहुल गांधी इज कमेंट नॉट माइंड वेस्टिंग योर टाइम नहीं नहीं मैं कह रहा हूं अरे बात को समझने की जरूरत है अर्नब जी इस देश के अंदर में हमें मुद्दों पे बात दिस कमेंट वाज मेड बाय राहुल नॉट मी पार्टी मुद्दों से चर्चा नहीं करना चाहती हम मुद्दों पे बोल रहे हैं ये मुद्दा नहीं है आग लग जाएगी अगर नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बने तो आग लग जाएगी ये मुद्दा नहीं है आपने युवाओं की समस्या की बात नहीं की जो इस देश की मैं युवा इस देश की धड़कन है उसके बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है छात्रों के बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है महिला समस्या पे कोई बात नहीं हो रही है समाज में जो आदमी पैरों पे खड़ा होना चाहता है उसके लिए बात नहीं हो रही है अर्थव्यवस्था पे बात नहीं हो रही है शिक्षा पे बात नहीं हो रही है स्वास्थ्य पे बात नहीं हो रही है इस पे चर्चा क्यों नहीं हम किस बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं उस बात करें डिस्ट्रक्टिव मैसेज किस बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं ये लग जाएगा भारतीय जनता पार्टी जिस तरह की राजनीति हाउ डू की नफरत की राजनीति कौन कर रहा है देश के अंदर में विकास की राजनीति नहीं करता कौन है देश के मुद्दों पे बात नहीं करता भाई इंडिया गठबंधन क्यों बना इंडिया गठबंधन बना राष्ट्र को बचाने के लिए राष्ट्र के मुद्दों पे बात नहीं करता हमारी पार्टी की आइडियोलॉजी डिफरेंट है हम हम अलग अलग पार्टियों से फिर भी हमारे साथ मंच पे क्यों खड़े हैं क्योंकि हमें राष्ट्र और को बचाना है संविधान बचाना है और को 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 और Now, now, if the no, what? Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. I, I admit. Uh, I, I tell you one. Thing. Just one minute, yar. One minute, yar. Mr. Badori, one minute, sir. One. Or go. You're from Bengal. If somebody says the Congress party is reduced to zero seats in Bengal, the Congress party, which used to be in power in Bengal in one time, is reduced to zero seats. And if somebody says agun lagiye debo. अगुन लेके जाबे, which is the Bengali translation of आग लगा देंगे, आग लग जाएगी, will Trinamool Congress accept it? What kind of language is it? Is the is the whole country responsible for your pitiful state? हिंदुस्तान को भालो किसी हो बे ना अनुदा चिंता करो ना आप लोग अनुदा बत्ती जाते हैं अरे I am not saying he is saying what do you mean चिंता करो ना और करना है और को और को और को your response to the comment की आग लग जाएगी the point is loud and clear the the point the I understand I understand okay one और को दोस्त बच्चे नहीं होते जुन्ने दोस्त बच्चे नहीं होते आपनी महिला तो जुन्ने की को रचे carry on और को point is very loud Yeah, one minute, the results, the results of the election, which have to be looked into, and uh, of course there is there is no hide and seek to the fact that all political parties, irrespective of being in power in some state or in the central or being in the opposition, they have to respect the mandate of the people. But the point which is very important and pertinent here is that the elections should be free and fair, and there cannot be any interruption or any management, as many of the political parties, including the Trinamool Congress, is uh, afraid of that the Bharatiya Janata Party will misuse their position while being in power, and the huge amount of money they have accumulated, uh, rightly or wrongly, I am not getting into that debate. But the point is very uh, clear. 
the elections has to be free and fair and for that reason if a pressure has to be uh, created Can from I the judiciary the judiciary is already uh, speaking their mind on many issues at the same point of time why should, why so should far the judiciary as the create pressure amendments are uh, concerned so yes there is a all... procedure no i'm sorry of course they are, they are they are speaking their mind aloud there they is are a speaking, they have also spoken on de demonetization they have spoken on the role of the ed and the cbi they are speaking their minds one after the another and i believe the people of the country can hear it what the judiciary is saying i am not saying the judiciary is making a political statement but what i am saying is the judiciary is bringing whatever there is a, a mistake or whatever wrong has been committed no, that is other, being i want a very specific to, i think uh, i i see a lot of been tried i see a lot of uh, arko you know, arko, bring, bring arko the, i want uh, to keep parts. it very narrow focus and, so far and now i want to bring back ramesh savarwal and gaurav bhatia into the debate so i'd like no 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 No, I'd like to one no thing, sir no sir for so far as Ramesh, the amendments are concerned minute, there Ramesh, is a procedure Ramesh, and there Reena is no and Gaurav on the debate the procedure has to be followed but the amendments Arna, will be I get my time I've been patiently waiting not even interrupting anybody I think it's a very just one one minute, one minute. there is a process offering. I'm just coming to you Gaurav you should give me my time I, I'm coming you know. to you Gaurav Gaurav Ramesh first of all you have four yeah, I will give you Ramesh the Gaurav Bharatiya Janata Party then you don't even khatam. want to give me time now two mahine bache hain uske baad Bharatiya Janata Party ka time khatam ho raha hai time bacha kahan hai ab just one minute Gaurav with Ramesh and aap please thank you chill please can i can i tell the producers here have we got the windows now yeah yes. Gaurav we bring back the focus to the aag lag jayegi comment Gaurav Bhatia yes absolutely i am only on that you know today when you were asking the aap spokesperson to speak on the subject i think you know in a mathematics exam she has mugged up her physics paper and she started speaking on a different topic altogether but mujhe ajeeb laga ki matches bhi ab aag nahi lagegi bol rahi hai are matches ka to kaam hi aag lagana hai chahe rahul gandhi ho chahe arvind kejriwal ho chahe akhilesh yadav ho and let me tell you what aag lagana is TMC spokesperson was waxing eloquence. He said that respect the mandate of the people. CAA is a validly passed law, but when it was being implemented, Arna Mamta Banerjee said there will be civil war in the entire country. इसको कहते हैं आग लगाना. Second, he said that election should be free and fair. But panchayat elections, when they took place in West Bengal, 33% of the seats were won by the TMC unopposed. To which the Supreme Court remarked that democracy is dead in West Bengal, and we all know about Sandesh Khali. We know about second May when the assembly election results were declared. You know, houses yeah. were burned, aag laga di thi, women were raped, some people were murdered because they voted for the BJP. So at least the TMC should not talk about course, you know law and order about the spirit of the constitution. Coming to the Congress party, आग लग जाएगी. Congress party ने तो आग ही लगाई है देश में. 1984 Sikh riots. Our innocent Sikh citizens. Tires were put on their body. And they were burned alive. Arna burned alive. No one can ever forget. How Sikh brothers were burned alive. And Arun Rajiv Gandhi in famous comment when he said, बड़ा पेड़ गिरता. अब ये लोग क्यों ऐसे कर रहे हैं अर्नब इनको चुप कराइए ये कौन से अच्छा ये कहां से ये लोग आप दे आर वर्स यू नो आई डोंट वांट टू यूज अ वेरी हार्श वर्ड्स बट दे आर वर्स देन हुलिगंस दे आर लाइक निन कम पूप्स बिकॉज़ थ्री ऑफ देम स्पीकिंग टुगेदर सो दैट द व्यूअर्स कैन हियर नो बैड लैंग्वेज आर मेकिंग नो ब्रिंग बैक द वर्स देन हुलिगंस ब्रिंग बैक द फोकस ऑन द आग नहीं लगेगी डिबेट ये क्या ब्रिंग बैक द फोकस ऑन द कर रहा है अर्नब इज How yes. are you allowing him to talk this nonsense? Ah, Sonia, Sonia, I will no tell you one thing. No bad language. Arda, no bad language. Arda, no bad language. Arda, no bad language. Arda, 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 Arda, no bad language. Uh, every day she no, does this no and i don't want to engage no with her you know it's below no my dignity below my dignity to engage no, with no, her no 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 
we don't want personal attacks. We don't want personal attacks. No, 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 no. No, 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 we don't want personal attacks. Ramesh Sabar wants to stay out of it. One minute, one minute. One minute. Sir, can I tell you? We all know. We all know the situation of law and order in UP is much better now than before. Go back to the issue. Reena, you speak so much. What he has said, you are avoiding the subject. You just have to tell me, do you agree with this Aag Lag Jayegi comment? I know you don't. You know, Gaurav, I know she doesn't. No, no, this is Vivash. Reena ji, you know, this is Vivash. You have to support them. She is bound. I already gave my answer. She is bound. She is bound. She is bound. Reena, 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 Vivash. आप अग्री करते हैं अपने आप राष्ट्रवादी कहते हैं ये ऐसा ये ऐसे व्यक्ति हैं आए तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर रही है पिछले दस साल से पिछले दस साल से मैक्सिमम हेड स्पीचेस दो हुई हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के देश में हुई हैं लेकिन हमारा देश महान है आप राजेंद्र गौतम हम आग नहीं लगने we will not allow He's not secured bail yet. He was the person who instigated the mob in the Delhi violence. Tahir Hussain kiska? Parshita. Which party did Tahir Hussain belong to? 50 Indian citizens, innocent, lost their life because of the hooliganism, because of the gundaism that you people teach to your workers. So don't come here and preach. If you can answer me on Tahir Hussain, it was if you can answer me on Rajendra Gautam, then we can have a meaningful debate. Okay? Tahir Hussain has not got bail. And you people were coming and defending it. So dare you and I utter a word. अगर नोएडा में गुंडा राज है तो उसके लिए कौन जिम्मेदार है? सबसे बड़ी आग लगाने की मशीन कोई है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और जेल की सलाखों के पीछे है सारी आग अभी ठंडी हो जाएगी एवरीबॉडी ऑन नरेंद्र मोदी जी इस प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ़ द कंट्री एवरी प्रेसिडेंट जेल and no one is going to be able to do it. Misleads, misleads, misleads. Open your eyes. 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 कोई माइकल लाल नहीं है भारत में आग लगा दे आप भी बोल रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी को हमारे हमारे नेता को शजादा बोल रहे हैं कोई आप जाके बताना कोई प्रधानमंत्री जी आखरी सांस तक भारत के लिए हैं दस साल से वो इनकी पेवरी सिंधु राहुल गांधी एंड राहुल गांधी he wants sacrifice to legacy. He wants being with him. Painting stones at each other. I am a Balidhan. I am a Balidhan. I am a Balidhan. And I will tell you about Tiyak. Viewers, viewers, last nugget from me. Listen to me, Sabarwal Ji. Don't play emo card with me. Don't play emotional card with me. I am not true. I will tell you something. I know. In 1975, Mr. Sabarwal, I always like to give a nugget of information. Sir, in 1975, you were 10 years old. Indira Gandhi, introduced the 39th amendment to the constitution which nullified the June 1975 verdict of the Allahabad High Court which found the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi guilty of corrupt electoral practice. You are giving a lecture today. You are giving a lecture today. You have given the constitution amendment to save Indira Gandhi from charges of corruption. 2013, that is a fact. The party government in Uttar Pradesh 85% of people say that there will be no fire with me. Muzaffar Nagar rides, 55,000 people displaced, women raped, citizens murdered, and Akhilesh Yadav was indulging in appeasement politics, discriminating even on the basis of religion and giving compensation. These people come here to debate. अरे पार्टी को बचाओ, देश सुरक्षित है, टूटी साइकिल को बचाओ, पहिया निकल गया, टायर फट गया, हैंडल टूट गया, यहाँ आके बात करेंगे राष्ट्र राष्ट्र, अपनी पार्टी को बचाओ, परिवार वाली पार्टी को। Ladies and gentlemen, on the other side tonight is the where Sanjay Singh gets bail. Debate two tonight is Sanjay Singh gets bail. Where is the money trail? The money trail debate. When I'm back.
Kane, sir, your dinner. On a tile? Arre, it's antibacterial. Mm-hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Kane, bhai. It's a tile lad. Uh, IM Plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho, to simple ho. 15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking and proactive professionals. Kane, sir, your dinner. On a tile? Arre, it's antibacterial. Mm-hmm. Easy to clean. But plates? Kane, bhai. It's a tile lad. Uh, IM Plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho, to simple ho. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 645. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 645. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Propulsion is nominal. Ha! Kiss the Hase! Pitchle do sal se! Ake karke, ake karke, amadmi party ke neta of a jute case on his Giraftar kia jarahata, pasaya jarahata. लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जीत सत्य की ही होती है। Kane sir, your dinner. On a tile? अरे इट्स एंटीबैक्टीरियल। हम्म। Easy to clean. But plates? Kane भाई, it's a tile lad. IM Plus technology से बने world class tiles. Tile हो तो simple हो. 15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking and proactive professionals. Kane sir, your dinner. On a tile? अरे it's antibacterial. Mm-hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Kane भाई, it's a tile lad. IM Plus technology से बने world class tiles. Tile हो तो simple हो. इस आम आदमी पार्टी ने अपने और आपको एक और गहरे संकट में डाल दिया। In their over enthusiasm, in order to claim and to clutch at straws, to try and project a routine, ordinary bail as some sort of a clean sheet and a victory, 
the aam aadmi party has further indicted itself today king sir your dinner on a tile are it's antibacterial mm hmm easy to clean the plates clean by it's a tile lad i am plus technology se bane world class tiles tile ho the simple one 15000 placements in 2022 23 at amity we are committed to nurturing passionate hard working and proactive professionals kane sir your dinner on a tile are it's antibacterial mm hmm scratch resistant also the plates kane by it's a tile lad i am plus technology se bane world class tiles tile ho the simple one From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10 powered by Reva University Policy Bazaar And welcome back ladies and gentlemen it's a trending edition of the debate tonight and time now for the nation's sharpest opinion Sanjay Singh is one of the right hand people of Arvind Kejriwal and he's got bail after 6 months today and the circumstances the observations and the happenings around that bail decision is what has got me curious the court asked the straight question and the one i've been asking myself to the bjp where is the money trail not the approver mail but the money trail because this liquor case has been going on since 2022 and the ed is investigating ED has to establish a money trail we are about 2 years short now at the end of the day 2 years on it all comes down to one thing proving a money trail proving that money was made proving the link proving the defined route from where the money went no doubt money was made no doubt 100% 338 crores minimum benefits to be exact as said by the supreme court The question is, whose pocket did it go to? The question is, how exactly was it spent? That is what we mean by money trail. The allegation we know that the AAP used the money in the Goa election, but just because the allegation is that the money was used, it cannot be that the money trail cannot be concrete. There has to be a defined route, a defined eventual beneficiary, and the ED will have to get very specific down to where the alleged kickbacks went. and the more time goes the more questions will be asked on the other hand i think the aap is jumping the gun 
they cannot get very preachy about the bail given to Sanjay Singh because the observations made in the court on Sanjay Singh's case cannot be and are not a blanket cover to the allegations against everyone else, including Kejriwal. And that's what Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj don't say. That the observations in the Sanjay Singh case are only about Sanjay Singh, not about Sisodia, not about Satendra Jain, not about Arvind Kejriwal. And as equally, if the AAP says that they hail the courts for bail, they cannot go anti the courts when they keep their functionaries in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, this hashtag is interesting. Bail or trail? What do you think will happen eventually? Will they all get bail? Or will the ED find the money trail? That's what I mean with the hashtag bail or trail. You can choose which way you think. Tell me what you think. We have a poll live on Republic World. Let's debate. After six months in jail, Aap Sanjay Singh gets bail. The Rajya Sabha MP given bail after no objection from the ED. Aap satya ko daba sakte hai. Lekin aap satya ko mita nahi sakte hai. Aaj Sanjay Singh ji ki zamanat nahi hai dikha diya. Humne dekha ke kis tarha se पिछले दो साल से एक एक करके एक एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था फंसाया जा रहा था लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जी सत्य की ही होती है द सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन ईडी ऑन द मनी ट्रेल इन द लिकगेट स्कैम नो मनी हैज बीन रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम संजय सिंह सच की जीत हुई है हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी भाजपा के टॉप लीडर्स गिरफ्तार होंगे ये बहुत जरूरी है कि सवाल पूछा जाए That Singh took two crore rupees as kickbacks, with the BJP attacking up over the party's political vendetta claim. Bail mil gayi aur ED ne oppose bhi nahi kiya. Dekhiye, iske hamari jo court system ki, hamari judiciary ki jo robust independence hai. Ab wo kehte hain, kal jab Rahul Gandhi ji bol rahe the, us din Ramlila Maidan owner bola. इलेक्शन कमीशन ये फिक्स्ड मैच है इलेक्शन कमिश्नर भी आपके हैं जुडिशरी भी आपकी है अरे भाई जुडिशरी हमारी होती तो ये इतनी बढ़िया स्कीम है इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड क्यों उन्होंने उसको नेगेटिव कर दिया तो ये तो ये हमारी हमारी डेमोक्रेसी की खासियत है कि हम हम अगर कोर्ट्स कोर्ट्स इंडिपेंडेंट है वो जो भी निर्णय लेंगे पर ईडी ने अपोज भी नहीं किया आप संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल विदाउट दी अपोजिंग इट विद सुप्रीम कोर्ट आस्किंग वॉट वी आर आस्किंग Where is the money trail? Let's debate. Uh, to hint, Sina, you know, at the end of the day, you can have a million approvers, but you've got to have a money trail. Where's the money trail? Arna Bon. 30th October 2023 when when Manish Sisodia's bail plea had come up for hearing under the same judge justice Sanjeev Khanna the judgment had very clearly said that a money trail of tentatively a uh, money trail of 338 crore stands tentatively established and that was one of the reasons or that was the key reason for denying bail to Manish Sisodia so obviously you know uh, i think you need to give it more time because that case will come up for hearing but having said that uh sanjay singh was never no, no. seen as the chief collaborator or the kingpin in the case if if in this case the money trail has not uh, been why was he arrested yet that does not then why was he arrested the aam party that if he was not a collaborator if he didn't not have a significant role why was he arrested if you you are saying that now you didn't say that 6 months back why was he arrested because at that point of time if he's not a key kingpin collaborator or have a key role why was he arrested at that point of time no no if at that point of time the ed felt that interrogation was required there were charges of 2 uh, crore money being given to him if at that point of time ed felt that interrogation was required and if in the last 6 months he has answered the question satisfactorily <coughs> obviously things changed you, in the span of 6 months things change what changes sorry what changes uh, please can i be on screen what changes 
No, no. If the ED is, if the ED feels that further custody, further custody of Mr. Singh is not required in this in this specific case, then obviously they would not. They, they derive no joy in keeping him in jail for eternity. Like I said, that does not absolve Arvind Kejriwal. But what Kejriwal joy did they get in keeping Manish him in jail Sosodia? for six months? In in. Uh, no, no, they, they wanted certain information, certain in interrogation had to be carried out and he may have, you know, addressed those questions <laughs> satisfactorily. I think these questions are best answered by ED. Based on the information that we have on public domain, the, uh, the court has very ED doesn't come on my program. that, you know, today's, today's uh, bail any which way is not based on merit. No, that's no, not. No, no, I, I, I want to make one point here. I want to make one point here. The court literally cornered the ED today, Tohin, and said that you have a choice, the Section 45 of the PMLA, and we will invoke Section 45 of PMLA, which will have cascading consequences for the rest of the case. Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, ladies and gentlemen, in Nugget says, either the court believes there is no case or feels that there is nothing more than can that that can be the, or the individual will not influence the case if he's out a observation a bail under section 45 pmla would have been embarrassing for the ed and hence the ed chose not to press for bail so people who were surprised in the morning when they saw that the ed has gone soft on sanjay singh it's not correct the ed did not go soft on sanjay singh it was a tactical decision a strategic decision by the Honorable ASG SV Raju not to allow the bail under Section 45 PMLA, but rather to intervene and not press for bail. Now, having said that, that's a technicality. The important thing is the focus has come on where the money trail is. 338 crores, you are correct, Tohin, was the observation made by the Honorable Court of Justice Khanna regarding the money that was made in this case minimum but the money being made by 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 corporate groups or by the south group or others is different from money being made by a politician you don't have to prove to him that the money has been made by certain people because there is no doubt the liquor policy gave cascading returns to individual business people now the question to you is more complex to him which politician made the money and if it is a Hawala transaction, as you allege, how will you prove there is a trail to the Hawala transaction? You are saying I will rely on approver statements. Will that be enough? <clears throat> will that you know, be I mean, enough? To win the question is to you. Uh, you know, I, the debate is on. I am not representing. I am not representing the ED over here. I am representing the BJP. And I have implicit trust in the institutions that the, they are fighting the case out. If uh, the, in, in the previous uh, judgment on 30th October, the judge had called for winding up the case in six to eight months, I'm sure ED is aware of the deadline, e ED is aware of the timeline and working no, no, no. towards it. Excuse me. You, you represent, represent the party, party that controls the ED. You represent the party that has administrative and supervisory control over the ED. You represent the party that appoints no, no, don't, the ED. I, I don't, don't trivialize this debate. Don't trivialize, don't trivialize this debate. This is a, the you know, don't trivialize this Raju debate with this gibberish. He's a don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. No, please don't okay. attack me. Please attack the argument I'm making. No, no, the attack BJP does not BJP control ED. The you BJP the does not control ED. When you cannot it controls your mind. Oh, you don't, is it? You don't. You ha if you are a lawyer, you should you should take responsibility for the statement that you made. You're making the BJP does not control the ED. It probably controls your mind. On all the discoveries that the ED makes, you will use the arrest the ED makes to take the opposition. As a lawyer, you have to prove that the BJP says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. March 31st in Meerut, Prime Minister Modi says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. So the today, Supreme Court has given them bail. Not, Mr. Totally Prime Minister, what do you have to say? Like what do you have to say? Ever. The Supreme Court that your lackeys wrote a letter attacking last Deke, week. Arnab what do you have to say? Sanjay. The Supreme Court has given Sanjay Singh bail. 
and next it's Sisodia, then Kejriwal, no, no, then Heman Soren, Kek Kavita. This is the beginning of the end of this extortion department. And this, the of is this is the end of the reign of terror of the Singh The end has begun. Bail. How can it absolve money, Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal? First of all, as Mr. Goswami, whose understanding of the law I must commend, section 45 of the PMLA clearly states if you're released on bail, the court believes you're not guilty of the offense. How can a trial court find Sanjay Singh when the Supreme Court has done it in bail, saying there is no crime of SIC has been held against him? You are relying on approvers? Was that okay? Order. Okay, let, let me, let me, let me, one minute, one minute. Uh, can I get Tuhin on the debate? It's a hot I'm debate. simplifying it for you. Your approvers? One minute, now, 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 please. Abhishek, cool it, please. Let Arnab. others come in. Tuhin, I give you a chance to reply. Suhail is waiting. Anmol hasn't spoken Arnab, yet. Arnab, there is a difference uh, between a chief the point being, and a collaborator. Yeah. So, oh, oh, no, no. I'll see. So, so first, let's collaborate with the that, 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 that is there on your show. One minute. Can you, can you, Abhishek? Uh, I want to hear the other side. Up. Can you not do that, please? Thank no, you. Nobody can dare speak to me. When Arnab is speaking to me, nobody can dare speak to me. When Arnab is speaking to me, please, 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 can you not can you not please can you calm down everyone please it's a, it's a, it's a very it's a very delicately poised matter and abhishek there is no point trying to provoke tohin on this it's a serious matter to which i want to bring the point here and sohel i'm coming to you last apologies but i want to go to the aap spokesperson here you see you make a big deal of what the supreme court has said asked a question here so the supreme court has asked a question here where is the money trail the supreme court has not said there is no money trail now, earlier, the Supreme Court has made more scathing observations and the court has said that a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. You don't want to talk about that. When Justice Khanna says one aspect regard to the transfer of money, 338 crores is tentatively established, we have dismissed the bail. Would you hail them for that? You say, no, let's not talk about that. That's not right. The Supreme Court has also said that there is enough evidence to prove that Satyendra Jain is prima facie guilty of the alleged offences. The Supreme Court bench said we are of the opinion. And I quote here, we are of the opinion that the appellants have miserably failed to satisfy us that there are reasonable grounds for believing they are not guilty for their alleged offences. On the contrary, everyone on, there is sufficient material collected by the ED to show that they are prime officer guilty of their alleged offences. At that point of time, you don't speak much about that. If I speak about it, you say you're making a mountain out of a molehill. So you're being selective. So don't jump too much, Anmol. This is just an observation. I can show you a thousand more scathing observations as well. Anmol. Can I... Can I can I respond? Arnab, today marks the victory of truth over falsehood, righteousness over unrighteousness, and justice over injustice. From the outset, we have been saying that you will not be able to detain us unjustly in this false and fabricated legal four, scam. Four on the screen. And today, and today, Lord Hanuman, wielding his mace, has begun dismantling your fortress of deceit, conspiracy, and corruption, which has been erected by the BJP. First point. Second, the Honorable Supreme Court very categorically asked two questions from the lawyer of enforcement directorate that why do you want to keep him in custody? They had no answers. That is there any trace of money? They had no answers. The court very specifically said that even after investigating the matter for two years, even after 500 raids, not a single penny has been recovered. And he was kept behind bars on the basis of false and fabricated allegations. As far as the allegation of 338 crore is concerned, Wait. Arnab, this one minute, one minute, you, one, one, on minute, one minute, just one point, one point. Uh, Anmol, can I, Anmol, can I, can I intervene now, now because you obviously have information that I don't. I, I have to, I have to make one. I need to point. be very factual with you. Uh, Anmol, Anmol, point. Anmol, Anmol, may I, may I, may I just ask you, may I just ask you, Anmol, may I just ask you for a clarification if you don't, false and fabricated allegations against Sanjay Singh, the exact use of the words. Can you please, because guide me through it, please. Anab, Anab, I, I don't have Words, the order. Paragraph? I, I, I was, I was where, where did the, the court hearing. say the fabric? I, no, no. I was present in the hearing. The uh, counsel for the enforcement directorate conceded because he know otherwise the honorable court would have to make observations as per the mandate of conceded section 45 what? of the PMLA Act. Conceded what? The court clearly said. Yeah. 
court clearly said conceded what no 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 The I'll court did not the use the phrase "the allegations against Sanjay Singh are false and fabricated" said. by using. You are quoting wrong words let, to the court. Not you can just not retract that; otherwise, complete. it'll spiral let out of control. Complete. I I don't need to retract what has been held in the court today. The court very categorically so said. So you should not misquote if, the Supreme if, Court thus. I have I have not misquoted the Supreme Court. The court said that they'll have to make they'll prime of a side. <laughs> have to make an observation as per the mandate of Section 45 of PMLA that. Mr Sanjay Singh has committed no offence it has been very clearly stated and you are very curious to know that where is the money trail arnab on your show day after day i have been uh -huh. asking the bjp spokesperson that's a totally that the data has that's been established data has been published by the election commission of india which says that 60 crore rupees has been transferred to the bhartiya janata party from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam p sharad reddy Ninth on tenth of November two thousand twenty-two, five crores was were uh, donated to Bharatiya Janata Party, and on eighth November two thousand twenty-three, another fifty-five crores were donated to Bharatiya Janata Party. Sir, I, I and this was you. the reason why the enforcement Anmol. director did Anmol. not even oppose the bail application. And this was the same person who Anmol. turned into an approver Anmol. after six months being in Anmol. custody, and he also made Anmol. observations before the court that he has been right. threatened, Anmol. he has been uh, made under. uh after being an undue influence after the coercion made by the officers of enforcement directorate he was made to sign predicted statements implicating mr kejriwal now this is the reality of the so called liquor scam and the bhartiya janata party is rattled because they don't now, have answers now anmol can i come questions. in now sure. now anmol can i come in can i now can I to anmol can i come in You know something. I completely understand and empathize the situation that you are in. There is a drought, and you have to pull water out of a rock, and you will, if necessary, you will squeeze the greatest amount of meaning from a statement that has not been made. Even if the Honorable Supreme Court smiles at you, you will say that you are being exonerated. You are overread into things and underread into things as per your convenience. I would like to tell you I am a man of exactitude I like to be factual and accurate especially when I am dealing with a court the supreme court has said today that in the first 10 statements of dinesh arora there is no implication of sanjay singh but goes on to say that later in the 10th statement he does the fact is that dinesh arora initially had not implicated sanjay singh but later on in the 10th statement he does there is a slight change in his version when we look at sections 45 and 19 pmla we have to take these factors into account it has to be tested when he comes to the witness box please don't Anmol. read 40% of a sentence and remove 60% what are you doing anmol and now what i'm doing and i'm too I'm smart saying, for that I'm, anmol I'm telling, I'm telling i am the reality i am to too the much people. too smart for yeah, that anmol no, because you are not willing to answer i'm much too to smart anmol person and this same court, anmol i've asked the bjp questions and you saw them uncomfortable Sohail, 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 listen, Sohail, listen, Sohail, 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 listen. You are an uninterested. You haven't interrupted anyone. Arnab, let me complete. Is guys finished? Did you ever ask the BJP spokesperson that why did they take sixty crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? You are looking for money trail. I am giving you evidence. The SBI has published the data. The Election Commission has published the data. Why are you not asking BJP spokesperson that why did they take sixty crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? Uh, good you are no, you are the finished. one who are asking for the for this specific question at the start of your show then please ask this man Arnab. show some courage and ask this man that why did they take 60 crores from the kingpin of the liquor scam and the same yeah, court first of all the same Arnab, court can i can i just come over here okay yeah, Arnab, you, why don't you have a program with these guys we'll just keep quiet a uh, one minute can, can i get can i get sohail in one minute tohin 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 let me get sohail in then you come yeah. in sohail's listening sohail listen sohail you know that 
the way I look at it is this is a matter about perception. Nobody understands perception more than you. Which way is it? How is it looking? What are the risks for both? How do you read it, given the Sanjay Singh bail? And how do you think people are reading it? Sohail. I don't care about how people read it because I don't know enough people or as many people as you do. But let me just logically analyze what's happened today. Number one. Abhishek said lackeys. I wouldn't use the word lackeys for his own colleagues, but be that as it may, it's, he's entitled to his opinion. I think the one thing that has been established is that the courts are not under the control of the government. Agencies may or may not be under supervisory control, again, to quote a panelist on your program, but I don't think the courts are. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. Number two, bail is not a dismissal of the case or an acquittal. It is merely bail. So while Sanjay Singh is out of jail, he is not acquitted of a crime that he may have been arrested for or custodially remanded for. Number three, I don't think with all the publicity at this case, the enforcement directorate would have gone this, this far if they didn't have any evidence to arrest a sitting chief minister to arrest a member of parliament, to arrest a deputy chief minister. So that's number three. Number four, the same very Sanjay Singh today, who was granted bail by the Supreme Court, was also denied bail by various courts in the last six months. This is not the first time that he's appealed for bail. So the denial must have had some grounds. So if we believe that the courts are right today, we logically should believe that the courts were right then. Because you can't say that today, because the courts has exonerated him, the courts are fair. And because the courts didn't exonerate him earlier, the courts are unfair. I'm just talking as a, as a layperson. The other issue here is very simple. Now, I can't remember the gentleman, the Ahmadmi, Un Unmol, correct, Unmol. Unmol made a point saying that, look, establish the money trail of the 60 crores, which has been put up on the election commission's website. I totally agree. You cannot have selective amnesia when it comes to money trails or money that has been given, which is non-kosher. But to do what about tree is not the logical conclusion for this kind of an argument. And Anmol, my friend, what you're doing is right, saying that where is that? But that doesn't solve the issues that we are addressing today. The issues are very simple. Did anyone from Admam, Aam Admi Party indulge in a conspiracy where the government of Delhi was robbed of its fair share of revenue from liquor? That's the moot point. Number two, was there any diversion of funds? Now, there has been a report in the newspapers. I'm not saying it. The newspapers are saying it. The same very newspapers that Aam Admi spends a lot of money in advertising, as does the BJP. The newspapers say that they have now found a trail established somewhere in Goa that some Hawala transactions took place. Let that all come out. But I'm making a larger point here. If people are being arrested and then being freed for lack of evidence, it is a big, big statement on the way our judicial bodies function. Because you cannot keep a person incarcerated if you don't have evidence. Now, this PMLA law is not a law of the BJP's doing. This law existed. This law in itself needs to be re-examined. If the law is being used to persecute people it's, because of political vendetta, the... that also needs to be analyzed. So I think in the larger debate, yes, we need to, we need to introspect. But as of today, it can't be that Aam Aadmi Party has done nothing wrong. Because if that was the case, then Aam Aadmi Party knows how to fight and this is going to be a massive fight on judicial parameters. I'm done, please. You know, eventually, done, eventually, Anmol wants to respond here. Eventually, sure. remember, viewers, this is this is going down to the wire, but it has a lot of certainty. This case, either now, I'm putting a question here tonight, viewers, to you. Do you think it will be the turning point on RepublicWorld.com? There is a poll on, and Anmol uh, and Tohin. The way there is public focus and public attention on it, both sides, BJP and AAP, are aware this is a fight to the finish. If there is a conviction, and let me say this, Anmol, if even one of the senior leaders get convicted, then the reputation of AAP is destroyed forever. 
Arnab, this is a false and fabricated. And if Kejriwal case, is convicted, the I'll, AAP will I'll, be destroyed irretrievably. Hopefully, we'll meet uh, Arnab, someday after. And so there's a uh, lot at stake out here. Yes, when all the leaders will get acquitted. And you must change this hashtag uh, from bail or trail to illegal arrest gate, because this is what uh, this whole investigation scam is all about. Because after two years, they are still fishing for evidence. To be the they also. don't have a single shred of evidence. The so-called premier agency, which is working at the behest of Bharti Janata Party. Arnab, if if the a procedural bail for them, but but if but the what is alarming is bail Arnab, for them is the amounts to the, all the cases Very being false and fabricated. Then unmold. they are actually indicting themselves. One minute, one minute, two in, two in. Can I can I unmold. can I just make a? One minute, yeah, one minute. You've made enough. Point. I want to make just. I want to ask Anmol a genuine question. This is not a facetious question. Let's imagine everything you're saying is true. What prevents you, when I say you, I mean the Aam Aadmi Party or other like-minded people, from actually going to the Supreme Court and saying that you believe that the agencies are functioning under political pressure, because today suddenly there has been a reimposition of faith in the Supreme Court by all the parties. See, it's it's depending on the mood of the of the wokes and the liberals. If the Supreme Court votes against the government, then it is then democracy has returned. If it votes for the government, it means they are under governmental pressure. I mean, you can't have it both ways, na? No, I think you that you are jumping the gun. What about you all? No, how do you all? No, how do you all? No, 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 let me come Tomorrow in for a minute. There's an anchor anything. on this program. One minute. Tomorrow you can cast his version. No, 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 one minute. Yeah, Abhishek, don't jump too much. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this verbal yeah. trampoline on the program. My question is very simple. My, my one point is here. See, I'll tell you. And Tuhin is getting damn restless tonight, so I have to have Tuhin have a go at Anmol, and it'll be BJP versus AAP. Let them have a go at each other. I'm not going to. Tuhin, <laughs> you seem a little muted. Are you getting uncomfortable with what the court said today? My question to you is. Not at all. Repeatedly, not at all. I'm asking you: Is it coming down uh, to maybe, money? Maybe, maybe, maybe Tuhin. Till, till a week to back, Tuhin. Blood pressure pills today. Anmol, don't. Anmol, hey, they, stop. You just Anmol, stop question is to Tuhi. You can, don't read his you know, body language. The fact is, this is. I, I yeah, will okay, repeat, Tuhin, Arnab, on your show that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party has a basic, has a fundamental lack of comprehension of issues. Today, that now that they've got a procedural bail, they say that all the charges have been proved false and fabricated, which, you know, they are actually indicting their own leaders. The fact that Manish Sisodia has not managed to get bail for the Tuhin. last 16 months, that only, only proves that, you know, all the charges against him are true. Tuhin. If the court has specifically said Tuhin, on 30th October, on just 10 seconds, that can the tentative money this? trail of 338 Tuhin, crore has Tuhin, been established, they should wait this? for the next hearing Tuhin, of may that. I, may I? Yeah. May I? Tuhin, yes. Tuhin, Tuhin uh, when the BJP, now what the BJP said on Sanjay Singh, now you are saying, coming on my program, that he's not the main man. But October 2023, everyone on. You he said, as the, the BJP man. said, quote, his right-hand man, Manish Sisodia, has been languishing in jail for the past several months. Both the right hand and the left hand of Kejriwal are involved in corruption. It's Kejriwal who forces MPs and ministers to commit corruption to fill his coffers. The BJP at that point of time said that Dinesh Arora was the main link that implicated Sanjay Singh. And today the court says that the initial statements of Dinesh Arora did not implicate him, but he had a change of mind later. What the BJP said on Dinesh Arora's statement at that time was, Arora has admitted that he paid 32 lakh rupees as a bribe to Kejriwal by a check on being asked by Sanjay Singh at the meeting to pay for the party fund. So you were very exact in October. You're not as exact in March. Arnab, can I come in? So did you read too much into it then? Arnab, no, no, Tuhin, you have to answer this. Tuhin, see, the, the question is... It's architect of the scam. Manish Sisodia was always seen as then the chief fine, architect you of the scam. Fine, you arrest Manish I understand. Why Sanjay Singh? highlighted in one of the court judgments also. Now, Sanjay Singh was possibly a collaborator. Interrogation was required at that point of time. You know, interrogation cannot be required in certain cases for infinity if, uh, you know, he has provided information which was required by the agencies and if the agency thinks that extending his custody is not required, I think the ED would be in the best position to tell you the exact details.
88 percent of people feel this is not the turning point. The ARP's reading too much. Anmol wants to respond. Bail or trail? Anmol. Anam, have you watched that movie, uh, Mujhse Shadi Karogi? In that movie, there's one character, Dugal Sahab. No. Today, the BJP wale pravaktaon ki halat kuch aisi hi hai. Ye ek din kehte hain, ji, Sharad Reddy kingpin hai. Dusre din kehte hain, Sanjay Singh kingpin hai. Tisre din kehte hain, Manish Sisodia kingpin hai. They are all rattled. They, they, they don't... Uh, uh, they are very well aware of the fact that this case will fall flat in two minutes. They have no facts to base their uh, claims and they are just uh, uh, making rhetorical statements which have no existence. Arna bail hua hai, acquittal nahi hua hai. Anmol, in a fight. Singh's bail does not absolve Kejriwal and Manish Sodia. Can I quote the observations made by Honorable Justice Khanna today, if you allow me? He very clearly said that no money has been recovered. The trace of money is not there because it was long back. Fact of the matter is that money has not been recovered. Please keep in mind that if we are required to record in terms of Section 45 now, of the MLA, then he has prime FSI Anmol. not committed an offense. Anmol, one minute. Now I'm, now I'm asking you. No, 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 one minute, one minute. File. Observation, 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 observation. We are going to play observation these, versus these observation, are, okay? Are, We're going to play a little game tonight. Made, we're going to play a little game tonight, Sohail. Honorable Our Justice game is Khanna today. Observation versus observation. Okay, you have one observation. I have four. Let's fight. Observation one. Another For every observation of yours, I put one observation. Then you put one. You put on one original one. I'm the BJP spokesperson. I have asked every single question. I will not be directed Another. at asking any questions. I never have and Another. never will. You observation versus you. observation. Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, made trade. the following observation. I have placed the, all the facts, but still you are not asking the, the question to BJP spokesperson. I'll start and end as I want. Wait, I'm a free wait, man. No. Program, why don't you start? Certainly, but, but, I will but start. How I start, how I end is not my... Certainly, yeah, let Arnab Goswami conduct his program. When you start your channel, we'll listen to you. Let us finish. No, Seriously, everybody wants to be an anchor nowadays. Yeah. They want to be the anchor. Arnab, they want to be the anchor. In no, no, let's why you, the anchor why do you my job? I'm good at my it's job. No That's why I'm doing it for party. all these years. The anchor Aadmi Party. This is what this is my speciality. The question is, while, because I've got so much research, you know, so much research, I have to use it. Uh, my question is, one oh. minute, yaar, Anmol. <laughs> Anmol. Oh. Anmol. Now listen to me. This is an Ivan Lendl serve going on to you. Question is, the Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, said he was in contact with Vijay Nair and the South Lobby. The judge said, and I quote, the co co evidence collected so far clearly shows that the applicant through co-accused Vijay Nair was in contact with the South Lobby and the formulation of a favorable policy for them was being ensured mm -hmm. at every cost. <laughs> Your comments on this observation? My observation is that your wishes are to me, please. My wishes are to me that you have to read the 28 paragraphs of the 10th line and read it again and again. And I also want to read the 10th paragraph and the 12th paragraph and read it from the 12th paragraph and read it from the 12th paragraph. Because that will make it very clear that the Honorable Court has denied the allegation of receiving 100 crore bribes, 45 crores, and this Observation about tentative establishment. Do what not are you saying? I am saying what has what been written in the order. What are you saying? Can I read it for you? Can I read it for you? This is not the observation. I, so the swear, what is this? I, I am giving him a thousand observations. He says, I don't like your observation. I like my observation. Why? No, no. I'm, I like I'm, my I'm, observation. I'm placing, you have to I'm comment on mine. So he's not on commenting on my observation. Judgment made by the Honorable Supreme Court. I am placing reliance on the judgment made by the Honorable Supreme Court. And I am placing reliance Which on the observations of the High Court and the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court has said a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. Did they say that let or not? Let me, let me clear, let me make... Did they? Can you say that it's... This, this is, this is not note. in regard to Mr. Manish. I mean, yeah, Mr. Arvind on a serious Mr. note... No, no, so please, what's going on? Really, on a serious note, what is really heartwarming is that we have once again reposed our faith in the Supreme Court. There were enough comments being made on the Supreme Court That's and true. its judgments for the last three, four months. I'm glad that almost all political parties have come to the view that the Supreme Court is independent, as in my mind it always was, and hopefully will always remain. Yeah, yeah. That's to my mind is the silver lining on this very dark, ominous cloud.
You're a master of sarcasm. You're a, you a wizard of sarcasm, Sohail Sage. I'm being genuine. There's nobody can surpass you in it. Nobody can That's surpass you. No, no, sir, I, it's a fact. genuine statement, but there is a... I know, and I take yeah. it with a lot of <laughs> humility. I accept it with humility and grace. <laughs> including but rolling is, eyes. But you know, Sohail, this is going to be one of the more interesting... These are one of the interesting debates of this election season. And it's quite interesting. I mean, otherwise the political contest is so uneven. At least the debate on issues like this is serious. Tuhin? Tuhin? Hmm? Do you have the edge yes. on this? Do you still have the yes, edge sir. on this? We, we have a massive edge. I'm telling you, Arna, uh, Aam Aadmi Party was not, obviously not expecting the bail today because they know their involvement in the case. So they are, you know, they, they are so overexcited today that they are not able to make out the difference between a procedural bail and, uh, and acquittal. But I think, Please like I mentioned, the, the wisdom uh, of Supreme Court, uh, even if he has got a bail, that okay. does not absolve the other two. Okay. And I think, you know, on the, on the one hand, you know, anyway, look, look at Atishi. You Atishi is all, already planning to get arrested in the next two months, along with Raghav Chadda, who, by the way, is absconding, or, or I don't know where he is. So if they have nothing to hide, I think the but least that one expects from a responsible the member of Parliament month. of Rajya Sabha... You think Raghav Chadda does not have the right to... Raghav Chadda does not have the right to. Uh, Raghav Chadda does not have the right to be in London for a month. Why are you questioning Raghav Chadda? What's wrong if he chooses to be in London? No, no, he can be Go anywhere. To the Thames, he can be. Meet some people for any, lunch. He can have be a coffee. Anywhere, but I think you know, Amadmi Party has got brilliant uh, dispensaries and brilliant uh, swast clinics which they have set up across Delhi. So I think if health is the reason, he should make make uh, he should avail of the benefits of uh, Delhi's health turnaround, as Amadmi Party always claims. Maybe he wants to get treated in London. What's your problem? He likes the NHS. No, no, and the weather in Hob London is very conducive. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll take a break when I come back on the other side. The weather in London, London, London to him is very conducive to anything to do with the rights. If pro-Khalistani UK parliamentarians was the reason, then he should spell it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when I come back, the roughest day in court was not our BJP or ED. The roughest day in court was for Patanjali and Baba Ramdev. I'll tell you why in 30 seconds. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. DMK or Congress, two sides of the same coin. है DMK और Congress का मतलब है big corruption. DMK or Congress ka matlab hai One Family Rule Yes, yeah, I am totally there. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. The Supreme Court has come down heavily on Patanjali, Ayurveda's co-founder, Baba Ramdev and Managing Director Acharya Balakrishna for their quote absolute defiance in not filing proper affidavits about the company's misleading advertisements case. Everybody in the country is now looking at this and the top court says that advertisements issued by Patanjali have to be questioned. The apex court has also warned Baba Ramdev. This is what happened when he went to court today. Legal trouble continues to mount for Patanjali. हमने कोरोनेल बना रखी है। इसमें स्वासारी जो है ये फेफड़ों की इम्यूनिटी के लिए, ये जो है कोरोनेल ये पूरी बॉडी की इम्यूनिटी के लिए। तो स्वासारी खाली पेट दो-दो गोली सुबह दोपहर शाम तीन बार। Calling out Patanjali Ayurveda for absolute defiance, the Supreme Court has wrapped Ramdev. For defying its earlier notice in the misleading advertisement case. The top court has refused to accept the unconditional apology of Ramdev, calling it mere lip service. The Supreme Court took exception to Ramdev for shifting the blame to the media department of the firm. 
the bench questioned Ramdev whether Patanjali Ayurveda wasn't aware of the court proceedings. The courtroom battle came even as Patanjali Ayurveda issued an advertisement after it assured the top court last year that it refrained from making any casual statements, claiming medical efficacy or against any system of medicine. The Supreme Court has granted one last opportunity to Ramdev, asking him to file a fresh affidavit in a week. Why did Patanjali defy the top court's order? Let's debate. Rahul Ishwar is pro Patanjali. Suhail Seth is observing this. Uh, Mithun Vijay Kumar. Last time you were on the debate, Rahul Ishwar, you were on the debate. The least we can expect is that Baba Ramdev should follow what the court says. I mean, if Baba Ramdev feels that he does not need to follow the court, then the question will be Rahul Ishwar, why? Is How is no he? The court is telling him not to put out any misleading advertisements or claims, and he continues to do so. And then he comes and says, I'm sorry. How will that work? Remember, he has he has rendered an unconditional apology. Unlike uh, can, you uh, can you unmute yourself? Can you unmute yourself? Unmute yourself, Rahul. Yeah, it, it's not mute here. It's not mute here. So Baba Rande, just one submission. Yeah, Prashant yeah, Bhushan yeah, 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 refused yeah. to even pay earlier one rupee for one rupee as a contempt of court thing. But Baba Rande was, I you know, profusely apologizing and rendering an unconditional apology. Prashant Bhushan was at last pleaded by the Honorable Supreme Court to pay one rupee fine. But Baba Ramde graciously come to the court, accepted what the Supreme Court said, and also said, you know, he's ready to officially apologize with folded hands. His advocate really used folded hands as per media reports in the Honorable Court. I hope court should be more magnanimous and matter? kind to a champion of Ayurveda and yoga it's who has popularized yoga and Ayurveda not only in India, but around the world. Let us not use Baba Ramdev as some kind of a scapegoat so that, you know, many people, I'm not saying court, many people can take out their anger with the whole dharmic spectrum. See, Baba Ramdev, many people are targeting over social no, media, no, no, black... No, no. Because of other reasons, and that is not a right thing to do. Baba Ram, they accepted, he so apologized, one. and even okay, the we have lawyer, a fast debate. Uh, Please don't miss to see all these. We have a fast debate, so I'm, I'm getting a sorry, Arnab, We have a fast Baba debate, Ramdev so Suez is coming in with the yeah. Baba Ramdev has used communication to mislead people in the area of personal health care. Let's not so fool each other. A B, Rahul, one minute. Did I interrupt you? Keep quiet for a minute. Let me finish. Please. Number two, I don't care whether Baba Ramdev folds his hands or folds his legs or does a yoga posture in the Supreme Court. That is not important. He was asked by the Supreme Court to render an apology. He defied that. He is not some person who is above the law in this country. Let me also say one more thing. Baba Ramdev has made it a habit to knock every other form of medicine in this world. He made fun of Coca-Cola at one time. He made fun of any product that did not suit his, he accused Dabur of, uh, 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 you know, spurious honey. He has gone to town abusing brands. Today, when he's held up to account, he claims to be a saint. This is utter rubbish. Let's be realistic about one thing, Arnab. This country is run by rule of law. It is not run by saints. It is not run by Babas. It is not run by yoga teachers. It has to be run by the state, to my mind, by the rule of law. So what the Supreme Court has okay, done Okay, let me, let me ask you something. Let, let me I ask you something. Let, let me ask you something. Because the Supreme Court let me has ask told you something. I'm not, I'm not no naming certain are, brands. No, no, I'm, but, 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 but is the, okay, Sohel, Sohel, there are big foreign FMCG companies. Yes, you catch know, them. Who put catch in all them. this? I'm not Arnab naming any company. Goswami, you're right. But I'm if telling you who put. No, 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 no. One minute, one minute. Who, who basically, who basically. No, no, but one minute, one minute. What people will say, there are a lot of foreign FMCG companies who make false claims regularly. Who, and I'm telling you how they put false claims. They will put this packet, put shiny packaging on it, and say this is good for the health of your children. When they know it is nothing, it is nothing but, it is nothing but full of sugar. Full of sugar, totally, but you will so put nice this. packaging, spend crores of rupees on advertising and say your children will be taller, healthier, more protein. Modi, now, I'm Narendra saying, Modi, why, 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 mind, does, no, why, why are those companies not taken to task? 
No, no, no. Do you know the number of lies yes, those FMCG see, companies put out? Tomorrow, if a even chocolate companies is, put out lies, hear me out. Hear me out. they'll Tomorrow put a little bit of a nut and they'll they say it's good for your health. No, no, I'll tell you. No, I'm the, saying the, today is, pa, time, is Baba time, is, is Patanjali being targeted. Your logic is not right. Let me tell you why. Suppose tomorrow a television company lies to people on the news or about the news. Will you shut all television channels? Will you accuse all TV channels? No. A, B, I totally agree with you. If any MNC is found to be violating the law of the land in terms of what it promises in its product mix, hold them accountable. No one is saying don't hold them accountable. All we are saying is no one no, is but, above but the tell law me one thing, in this country. Sohail, Number two, Sohail, you cannot Sohail, make tell me one thing. Fun I'm not looking at the technicality of, of it. This country's Supreme Court. That's my limited point. My limited point is Baba Ramdev may be sitting on top of a mountain for all I care. But even above that mountain is the Supreme is Court. There of a is there an FMCG lobby against Patanjali that's at play? Is there a FMCG lobby against yes. Patanjali at play? Simple. I don't even use half the products that they make. Demeaning Ayurveda, defaming Indian systems, Indian wellness systems yeah, are know, profound. Yeah, and Rahul, want to the point, and my friend, Indian is you're a very wellness. bright human being. Don't find a conspiracy where none exists. Now no, you will say many people Baba are out to defame. Let us be honest Supreme about it. That means we are anti-India. What rubbish! No, nobody is saying so, sir. So else, it, sir, nobody is saying so. I we are at most discussion. But Baba uh, Ramdev should uh, be given uh, a fair Sri treatment. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has a great brand. Has that brand ever been accused of plagiarism or spuriosity? No. And no one is accusing Baba Ramdev. All I'm saying is... Never. If the Supreme Court says, bow before the majesty of the court, you bow before the majesty of the court. Because you're bowing before the constitution of India. Baba Ramdev is not in the Republic a... of Ramdev. He's in the okay, Republic so, of India. So... He's a citizen of India. Okay. That's my limited point. Okay. My point is not to say, oh, Baba Ramdev is wrong and everyone else okay. is right. That's not uh, the point. Mithun, Mithun, can I bring you in? Mithun, Mithun, yes, Mithun, Mithun. Baba Ramdev mm -hmm. runs a company that yes, whose valuation goes into tens of thousands mm -hmm. of crores. He has multi-thousand crore turnover, multi-thousand crore profit. Surely his media department knows what the court has said. He can't say, I didn't know. He's See, also running a, a huge company. He can't tell the court, sir, I made a mistake. Made by after okay go on. hello see uh, sir i am saying all i'm saying is i am not go an expert on, to comment whether the apology on, made by patanjali meets the standards expected by the supreme court i understand you know patanjali has crossed a certain line when it comes to their uh, advertising policies but uh, what we are doing right now is uh, demonizing a brand that democratized ayurveda for <laughs> and let me just add more substance to what you already said sir we don't have a problem when horlick says you know they will help us grow taller stronger and sharper we don't have a problem when Compliance says they will provide, uh, you know, complete nutrition. We don't have a problem when Safola says their cooking oil is heart healthy. We don't have Excellent. a problem when Bonvita says, you know, they will give you strong bones, uh, strong muscles and an active brain. Uh, now, you know, there is this brand, uh, Guaranteed Fairness and Guaranteed Fame is the tagline of uh, Fair and Lovely. Is there, is there anyone on this panel who is attributing their fairness and fame to Fair and Lovely? So why I mean, attack? Not Patanjali attributing my fairness, but I have objected to fair and lovely. If you, it if you see television I program, I told, I sir, allow me to finish. To I didn't interrupt when you were talking. Sure, sure, I didn't sure. interrupt you. Allow no, because you said anyone on the panel, so you you no, no, involved please. me. That's you why I interrupted. Can, you can use your time to you can use your time to answer that. Please don't please don't please don't interrupt when I'm talking. If you simply drive on a highway, you'll find hoardings People of many so reputed hospitals that claim to treat everything from heart disease to liver problem and whatnot. Can any of these hospitals give a 100% guarantee of what they say in their ads? Yeah, All I'm you know, saying is let's not try to demonize a brand because their advertising went wrong. It's, it's as simple as that. They have no, offered no, no. products which are useful for many people. But if their advertising is wrong, let's, yeah. let's you know not use it as a tool to attack them, attack the entire brand uh, itself. And you know, now, now, let, now can I come in? On almost everything in the country. And sir, I, I, please don't interrupt me. Allow me to finish, sir. I, I, I didn't talk when you were... You okay, were sorry, sorry. Morning. Please go ahead. So, very yeah, heated, I'm very heated. Talking. No, no, I'm not heated very at all. Heated. I'm not heated but at all. I is, want to respond to my good friend the debate here. Is heated. The debate is heated. Overall, my debate today standards. has been too hot. Let's, oh, sorry, Mithun, have you let's, finished? Let's, you let me know when you finish. I'm saying let's respect all forms of medicine and we should be open to you know exploring the potential of complementary approaches like Ayurveda. And uh, all I'm saying is we should encourage collaborative research to understand the potential benefits of these traditional systems. If their advertisement has gone wrong, that's okay because there are plenty of advertisements like this I, that, that I can show. 
because sure it's, it's an advertising policy that they have to fix they have they are making reparations they are ready to make the uh, you know reparations for that but still <coughs> we are not leaving them we are attacking them constantly no number one i now want to come in arnab and you must give me time no one has attacked baba ramdev for creating a brand called patanjali i have spoken about how the brand has created a distinction a b i have also spoken in marketing lectures about the toothpaste and how that toothpaste has caused market disruption for the better my limited point is as follows there is something called the advertising standards council of india which by and large is a toothless body that's that body then needs to be held to account if there are other companies that are promising through their advertising product benefits that don't exist so mitun and uh, rahul and i are on the same page no one is saying that you must allow lies of one and not allow what you believe is incorrect from the other so no one's case is that number one number two this is not a debate my friend about mnc versus india my limited point was only to this much that no matter who you are no matter how much influence you wield no matter how powerful you are ultimately you subject yourself to the majesty of the supreme court number 3 i totally agree with this gentleman mitu where he says that don't demonize no one is demonizing please remember whether you and i or 20 people on arnab goswami's program demonize baba ramdev we won't be demonized brands are built on the strength of benefits and the relationship they create with consumers if patanjali has as i'm sure it has because it's successful i think that uh, you and i can't destroy it on this television program well, sir, no one, just one sub, just no one submission of a limited point no okay i'll give rahul 10 seconds yes, rahul just rahul. one submission of a limited point have you ever seen ima take any action against any so called fmcg product so have they taken any action against any product, that assures, Wait, Rahul, product Ishwar, that assures height that assures weight that assures fairness that assures complete uh, healthcare so there reeks of double standard like my good friend midun rightly said you are demonizing a brand and also creating a double standard thereby yeah. implying ayurveda is bad yoga is bad Rahul, indian health systems are bad Rahul, if ima I is totally honest and sincere permit. please attack the I, huge billion dollar i totally i totally agree with you anytime, so here is what we should do here's what we should do. Those promises why don't you do one thing you list all the agencies that have supervisory or regulatory control over brands and consumers we have a ministry for consumer affairs i don't know who even uh, you know who's running the ministry you then have that grahak shakti it's and a, all that it's a matter of you have fssai which looks at food yeah. uh, supervision you have the yeah. ima as you rightly said you have the advertising standards council of india you have more committees I, than functioning traffic lights in india yeah you have a choice what but your committees accountable yeah. but then rahul shwar <laughs> yeah, why yeah. you but 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 but, but, but having so said that i just want to say it's a matter of choice so well it's a matter of choice some people like allopathy some people like ayurveda some people like yoga no, 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 no. everybody has their own way you but you must and some people like swell said choice. feel that sleeping in the no, afternoon no, 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 no. cures but them of all diseases you must you must now, make an informed choice everybody has their own like way saying, no no that's like saying, ayurveda has a different paradigm altogether it's a different no, no, paradigm no, 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 there's a clash of paradigms happening we shouldn't discount hey, yeah don't make it into world war 3 of course suhail ji is a different paradigm altogether uh, i understand that we cannot for the same point of time ayurveda has a different yardstick you cannot anti ram no one is anti okay we are not are chill yaar i think i think i think i would say to baba ramdev uses arnab goswami baba ramdev also why does he use trps to allow advertisers to make an informed choice does he fudge those trps no should you fudge any product data whether it's mnc or patanjali no if it is being fudged action should be taken who's going to take action okay. not over or me not arnab goswami yeah. those agency should take it yeah live and let live a little put them into shape True. that's what i'm saying but True. don't throw the baby with True. the okay viewers okay viewers bath water correct so he said it's had a good debate so have we all ladies and gentlemen i think baba ramdev should also chill a little bit and uh, eventually remember if people believe in a product they believe in a product ladies and gentlemen see you tomorrow at 9 come what may good night and goodbye Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals.
Me preocupa por, por el lado de que vuelven de la selección ¿no? y que se tienen que otra vez eh, conectar a, a lo que es al modo club, digamos. Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del, del Paris Saint-Germain, que nos quedan, nos quedan muchos días todavía. ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh, creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al, al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es adolescente, ¿no? lo hemos dicho muchas veces, pero es así. A nivel mental lo veo un chico alegre, divertido, bromista, eh, que está digeriendo muy bien lo que, está, lo que le está ocurriendo, que además está disfrutando, lo veo que está contento, está feliz. Eh, el equipo, el grupo lo ha, lo ha aceptado espectacularmente bien, eh, lo está ayudando, él también. <risa> पिछले दो साल से एक एक करके एक एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था फंसाया जा रहा था लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जीत सत्य की ही होती है फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लेसमेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Me preocupa por por el lado de que vuelven de la selección, ¿no? Y que se tienen que otra vez conectar a a lo que es al modo club, digamos. Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del del Paris Saint Germain, que nos quedan nos quedan muchos días todavía, ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh, creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al, al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es adolescente, ¿no? Lo hemos dicho muchas veces. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. gentlemen and the latest is that rahul gandhi has threatened that the country will burn rahul gandhi says aag lag jayegi the country will burn if narendra modi gets elected to a third term and any changes are made to the constitution in hindi he has said aag lag jayegi desh mein aag lag jayegi which literally means that the country will be on fire now there are no two ways of looking at it So it is totally clear to me that Rahul Gandhi on behalf of the Indian National Congress has said that he will set the country ablaze. If someone else wins and if the winning sides makes changes to the constitution with the numbers that they have. Now what does Rahul Gandhi's aag lag jayegi comment imply? First, that he is absolutely certain that the NDA will get over 2/3 majority in the Lok Sabha. Two, that making changes to the constitution is okay if you're from the Vadra Gandhi family, which you've been doing all these years, but not okay if you're not from the Vadra Gandhi family. Basically, means that if Robert Vadra becomes Prime Minister of India, he can make all the changes he wants, but not if anybody outside the Vadra Gandhi family makes changes. Three, this is a classic script in my view of a poor loser. It's like saying you will dig up the cricket pitch if you lose. It is like some kind of a toddler tantrum but with one very dangerous implication. Rahul Gandhi is threatening to tear my country down if he loses. 
That is why to him I say, Rahul Gandhi, the country is not your private property to do as you please. Your family doesn't own the country. And if you want to make changes to the constitution, first learn how to win. First go get a two-thirds majority. You can't even win Amethi. Changes to the constitution cannot be done randomly anyway. And Mr. Gandhi, when will you learn? The constitution allows for a change in the constitution as per a set procedure. Fundamentally, first you have to have the numbers, you have to learn how to win. And if you are certain that you will lose, I have a three word piece of advice for you, Mr. Gandhi. Get a life. Leave our country alone. We're debating that tonight, viewers. First, Aglag Jayagi comment of Rahul Gandhi. Do people talk like this? It's not funny. It's not funny anymore, viewers. This is dangerous. Aglag Jayagi. What does he mean, Aglag Jayagi? Debate number two tonight. Sanjay Singh, right hand man of Kejriwal, gets bail. Where's the money trail? If they are going to get bail, where's the money trail? Debate number three tonight. Baba Ramdev will go to the Supreme Court to say sorry, Supreme Court is unmoved. It's really furious at Baba Ramdev. Apology unaccepted. Big blow to Patanjali. Debate three, and here are the headlines. This Tuesday evening on the debate tonight. कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी सेस राहुल गांधी एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर गिव्स इट बैक आफ्टर राहुल्स India will burn comment. ये कहा गया अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा पिछले आठ नौ साल में मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया एंड दैट सर एक्सपोज आतिशी हेज अटेन एम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंसेस I am going to be the next one to be arrested. This is old tactic and ploy of Mr. Kejriwal to save his own skin. He can go to any extent when he has cheated Anna Hazare and other senior leaders of AAP. What are Atishi and Saurabh? BJP hits back at the AAP after fires a certified liar jibe after Atishi's Operation Lotus claim. Meanwhile, interesting turn of events. The ED does not oppose. Does not oppose granting bail to Sanjay Singh. Kejriwal in. Sanjay Singh gets bail. He's coming out. Supreme Court massively pulls pulls up Ramdev over the Patanjali controversy of misleading advertisements. And cracks widen in the Indi. Pinare Vijayan slams Rahul Swainard candidature once again. And ladies and gentlemen, Rahul Gandhi had accused the BJP of match fixing, and had said that if the BJP wins the polls and changes the constitution, then the country will be on fire. Aag lag jayegi, Rahul Gandhi said. Today there was a fierce retort from the Prime Minister, which has brought the focus on this absurd threat from the Vadra Gandhi family. If they lose, let's debate. Match fixing ka chunao, BJP jite, to is pure desh mein aag lagne ja rahi hai, aag lagne ja rahi hai. Sahajade ne alaan kiya hai. अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी विद लोकसभा पोल्स जस्ट डेज अवे राहुल गांधी हैज इश्यूड अ बिग वार्निंग 
अगर हिंदुस्तान में मैच फिक्सिंग का चुनाव बीजेपी जीते और उसके बाद संविधान को उन्होंने बदला तो इस पूरे देश में आग लगने जा रही है प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज कॉल्ड आउट राहुल गांधी इमरजेंसी माइंडसेट कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी साठ साल तक देश पर राज करने वाले दस साल सत्ता से बाहर क्या रह गए अब देश में आग लगाने की बात कर रहे हैं Rahul Gandhi has ended up making provocative statements every time he tries to counter BJP's narrative. Modi ji chahte hai ki aap din bhar din bhar mobile pe raho Jai Shri Ram bolo aur bhooke mar jao Bharat Mata ki jai Magar ye Bharat Mata hai kaun Ye hai kya सवाल है सरकार का सिस्टम हमारा इंस्टीट्यूशनल सिस्टम जो है पूरा का पूरा उसमें ओबीसी की कितनी भागीदारी है दलितों की कितनी भागीदारी है आदिवासियों की कितनी भागीदारी है ये हिंदुस्तान के सामने मेन सवाल है असुर शक्ति से लड़ाई हो रही है ठीक है नफरत भरी असुर शक्ति कांग्रेस टेयर्स एट एन एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस एज सेवरल टॉप लीडर्स है पार्टी What message does Rahul Gandhi want to send across the country? Is the country responsible for Congress's falling vote share? Let's debate. And I reviewers my hashtag is clearly our counter to this aag lag jayegi comment. माई हैश टैग इज आग नहीं लगेगी हम हमारे देश को आग लगाने नहीं देंगे आग कोई लगाने की कोशिश करेगा तो आग को बुझाएंगे वी वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड नॉट बर्न बिल्ड नॉट बर्न आग नहीं लगेगी और फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस इवनिंग विद अद्वैता काला अद्वैता आई डोंट नो इफ यू सॉ दिस कॉमेंट एक्चुअली स्केप माई अटेंशन But when the prime minister spoke about it, I went and saw Rahul Gandhi's speech. I could not believe that any mature person can talk like this. Ag laga denge, ag lag jayegi. What do you mean by that? Ab harenge, ab ki wipe out hone wali hai. Or ab keh rahe hum ag laga denge, ag kyu lagayenge ab? Ab ki jagir hai. Do you own the country, Ramesh Sabarwal, to make the country burn? Advaita Kala, do you want to start the debate? Let me get you in. Advaita. Well, I think I think it's pure instigation. There is no other way to look at it. Uh, fortunately for India, not too many people buy into Rahul Gandhi's vision of the country, so we can be quite as well assured that आग नहीं लग लगेगी देश को जो भी प्रयत्न हो उसके बावजूद आग नहीं लगेगी देश को. I mean, my sympathy is with him. He's fighting what looks like a losing battle at this point, and he. one of incitement of spreading discord of creating insecurity amongst people that's the message that he all has to offer and then he has the gall to say that i'm running a mohabbat ki dukaan now please tell me where is the mohabbat it's only incitement and frankly it's a very dangerous game that he's play for himself the country is sensible but he himself the kind of messaging he's doing is very very dangerous आग क्यों लगाएंगे आप बताइए मिस्टर सबरवाल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस बाय द वे आई थिंक अद्वैता अद्वैता आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू इन द कोर्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम टू पुट आउट द हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी वी मस्ट नो वी मस्ट मेक अ काउंटर वायरल थिंग आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने नहीं देंगे अद्वैता काला ट्वीट करें पहला ट्वीट करें हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी राहुल जी आग नहीं लगेगी बीजेपी के जो स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग द बीजेपी नो नो आग लग आग आग दे आर दे आर इंस्टिगेटिंग द फायर इन द कंट नो नो ही इज नॉट सेड दैट ही हैज सेड दैट अगर इनको और एक बार वो जीत मिलेगा तो ये लोग आग लगा दें नहीं उन्होंने नहीं कहा ये यही टोन एंड टेनर यही है 
इतनी इंटेंशन ही है कोई हम कोई इस देश के अंदर तो हमने अपनी जाने दी है राहुल गांधी बीजेपी विंस दिस इलेक्शन इफ द बीजेपी विंस दिस इलेक्शन एंड मेक्स चेंजेस टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देन द होल कंट्री विल बी ऑन फायर एंड ही सेट मार्क माई वर्ड्स दिस कंट्री विल नॉट सर्वाइव He has said this country will die. He, he has said the country we, will we, die. The country will burn. And the Congress party, when it was in power, has brought in how many constitution amendments? How many constitution amendments have you brought in? There is a process. Article three sixty eight of the constitution provides the process for constitution amendment. Article three sixty eight of the constitution says the parliament may, in exercise of the constituent power, amend by way of addition. Variation or delete or repeal any provision of this constitution in provision with the procedures laid down in this article. So my question is, if somebody wins and has those kind of numbers to make appropriate changes as mandated within the constitution, your response to it cannot be to say, "Ag lag jayegi." You have crossed the limit. You have said, "Ag lag jayegi." You have said, "Effectively, ag lag." You have said my no, country will no, not survive. No, no, I need an answer to that. No, 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 I need to say that. That's Don't try and dodge it today. No, no, no. Don't dodge it. Don't dodge it. I, Don't I, dodge it. Iska matlab bahot gambi hai. I am telling you enough is enough. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, you, you, you tell. Okay. You go on a versus with Gauravani. You go on a versus with Gauravani. You explain it to him tonight. You explain it to him tonight. Second time. Agh nahi lagegi. He's on blood. He has said Agh lag jayegi. I am saying Agh nahi lagegi. Lagane nahi denge. Jalane nahi denge. Raj nahi karne denge. My country will grow. You can lose the election. If you are a loser. If you are a bad loser. If you are a forever loser. If you always want to lose. If you have, how many constituents? How many changes? How many? Everyone is there. How many changes have you brought to the constitution? How many changes? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes What do you mean? Rahul Gandhi is simple of Mahatma Gandhi. Sure, he has given our life. 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 Sure, he has given और हैशटैग इज वॉट आई बिलीव एवरी वन ऑन आग नहीं लगेगी और जो लोग आग लगाना चाहते हैं उनको आग लगाने नहीं देंगे ये अभी से हार के डर से कहना शुरू कर दिया आग लग जाएगी देखते हैं कौन है अब गौरव भाटी अकबर का बेटा नजर आता है हम कोई राजा महाराजा के बेटे नहीं है वॉट यू मीन अकबर का बेटा ये कह रहा हूँ वॉट यू मीन बाई रेफरेंस हम एक नागरिक है देश के हम एक शहजादा बोलते हैं हम लोगों ने क्या किया देश के लिए प्रधानमंत्री राहुल गांधी को राहुल गांधी के नाम से बोले ना हम भी जब उससे मोदी बोलते हैं हम भी जब प्रधानमंत्री बोलते हैं वो क्यों कहता है आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी क्यों अब हमें क्यों शहजादा बोलेंगे अब क्यों बोलेंगे कुछ नहीं मिला हम भी एक नागरिक है देश के नॉर्मल सिटीजन है यू एस दिस डिबेट इज है कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द अट्रोशियस कॉमेंट ऑफ राहुल गांधी कि आग लग जाएगी प्राइम मिनिस्टर कुछ ही बोलते रहेंगे कुछ तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर पीएम मिनिस्टर कुछ आगे जवाब कर दिए हर हर आदमी को नीचा दिखाने की कोशिश करते हैं ऐसे इस देश में कई प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऐसे नहीं हुए पहली बार इस देश के अंदर इस तरह की हरकतें हो रही है नहीं लगेगी अब पाकिस्तान में होता है ये पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे अपनी जान दे देंगे वेरी मीनिंगफुल डिबेट सीरियस इमोशनल बनने की कोशिश मत कीजिए स्टेटमेंट हो चुकी है गौरव भाटिया इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रॉम द बीजेपी जी गौरव भाटिया I'm down, sir. Arnab, I've noticed in the past few months, Arnab. Rahul Gandhi has just completely lost it. And Narendra Modi ji raised this point because it concerns the country. It concerns every citizen of the country. I'll tell you why. Rahul Gandhi is 
in plain and simple language trying to incite people by saying aag lag jayegi wo to chahte hain ki aag lage desh mein and i am you know recalling a statement by sonia gandhi when she said in 2019 opposing caa that r par ki ladai hai do you know what happened after that delhi riots took exactly. place and 50 innocent citizens they lost their life so rahul gandhi also has that sinister yeah. design now he wants there should be communal riots there should be a civil war in india one community against the other spewing venom hatred ye hai unki mohabbat ki dukaan second when he says that agar constitution ko amend kiya so let me tell you as a student of law the constitution has been amended 106 times there is a provision as you rightly said article 368 oh that's the point yeah but yeah, the yeah. problem is when members of his family indra gandhi amended the constitution and even the preamble preamble has only been amended once in 1976 and two words were added secular and socialist and she wanted a committed judiciary and she also increased the tenure of the lok sabha and the assembly is to 6 years the supreme court had to intervene so rahul gandhi first first look into the history of his family how they played with the constitution destroyed institutions and indira gandhi even invoked emergency my third point when narendra modi ji is talking about a positive agenda and he has amended the constitution for what let me spell it to the viewers article 370 abrogated constitution amended good for our country good for various sections of society like the valmiki samaj and the women of kashmir second instance women reservation constitution amended women have been empowered third gst and economic reform that the congress promised constitution amended and we see index. how india has become the fifth largest economy fourth example ews economically weaker section reservation constitution amended 10% reservation given you have a tool it is your power but modi ji has used the tool to empower the citizenry of the country the gandhi parivar has always used the constitution to violate the rights of the individuals to deprive them of their dignity to put them behind bars and that is the mindset of rahul gandhi also and i will now end by saying rahul gandhi ke kuch bayan dekhiye ye 15 20 din mein unhone kaha ishwarya rai nach rahi thi insulting every female in the country he said media ki jaat kya hai insulting the fourth pillar of democracy he said match fixed ho gaya hai that means the congress and the indi alliance partners morale is very down they know they are losing they will not even remain a double digit party and in the end i would say up ke ladke nashedi hai ab nashedi kon hai ye to sab puch rahe hain ye kon sa nasha kar rahe hain rahul gandhi ye lad rahe ho ya debates ke interest section kar rahe ho bayan dete hain aur ant karunga bharat mein aag nahi lagegi aag lagi hai congress ki basti mein राहुल गांधी फुल मस्ती में ये है सच्चाई करना वाह भाई वाह वाह हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है अनफॉर्चुनेट हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है पर हम देश को पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे हम मोदी जी को राहुल गांधी को नहीं, नहीं मेरे किसी भी आपको अपने अंदर के बाद में झाड़ के देखिए आप अपने राहुल गांधी देखिए जुपिटर से पीएचडी करी चुनाव मुझे आप लोग सबरवाल जी सबरवाल जी इधर देखिए मेरी तरफ एक मिनट एक मिनट मेरी तरफ देखिए और आपके इधर जो अलाइड पार्टीज है उनको भी स्क्रीन पर 
वो रीना रीना जी बैठी हुई आम आदमी पार्टी से तो मैं उनके सामने आपको एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं जरा मुझे बताइए कि 1976 में जब आपने इमरजेंसी करवाई नसबंदी कराई अभी भी अठारह अठारह अप्रैल को उस पर आवाज नहीं आ रही 1967 में तुर्कमान तुर्कमान गेट मैसेकर में कितने लोगों को आपने मारा कितने लोगों की घर की घर के घर में आग लगाई मुझे बताइए माय इंफॉर्मेशन इज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल वर इंजर्ड दे वर शॉट एट पॉइंट ब्लैंक बाय योर गवर्नमेंट आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है 1984 एंटी सिख राइट्स में कितनी बार इंस्ट्रक्शंस दी गई कि सिखों को पकड़ पकड़ के मारो बिल्कुल नहीं। और और एच एस पुलका ने कहा कि द इंस्ट्रक्शन केम डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस राजीव गांधी वन मिनट वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ मिनिमम अनऑफिशियल एस्टिमेट्स आर एट थाउजेंड टू सेवनटीन थाउजेंड कितने लोगों कितने सिखों के घरों में आग लगाई आपने आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है सोबरवाल जी इंदिरा गांधी ने जब इमरजेंसी डिक्लेयर की कितने लोगों की फोर्स नसबंदी स्टेरिलाइजेशन की आपने आग लगाई आप मुझे बताइए जब जब लाखों कश्मीरी पंडितों को कश्मीर छोड़ना पड़ा तब आपने कितने कश्मीरी पंडितों के घर में आग लगाई आपने आज कहा आग लगेगी मैं पूछ रहा हूं रीना जी से एक मिनट रीना जी आपको हर चीज में हा में हा मिलाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टी हैं आप इस मुद्दे पर ऐसे ही प्रो कांग्रेस लाइन लेके अपने सपोर्टर्स लूज करेंगे अब कोई कह रहा है कि अगर इलेक्शन हुआ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस की गई तो आग लगाएंगे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट्स आर टोटली लीगल वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट लेट मी टेल यू द वर्ड सेक्युलर एंड सोशलिस्ट which are debatable words were brought in in 1976 when the country was under an internal emergency opposition leaders were in jail that time opposition opposi run me that time Abhi indira gandhi indira gandhi amended the preamble at the state of emergency to bring in the word secular and socialist i know how socialist she was now my question is the 42nd amendment brought in by the congress provided for the curtailment of fundamental rights coercively imposes fundamental duties and brings changes to the basic structure of the constitution by making india socialist secular republic when you make changes to the constitution you say we are totally uh, totally one minute one minute let me you say we are totally entitled to because you got to understand the constitution is a living and breathing document and i say okay the constitution is a living and breathing document but the constitution is continuing to be a living and breathing document when you are out of power also so my question to reena is do you support this aag lag jayegi aag lagayenge that kind of comment do you agree with it reena reena from the aam aadmi party i am i am asking you would you say aag lag jayegi aur aag nahi lagne denge mislead mislead or mislead this genius what i am asking what miss miss karte hain aap people are watching this yes reena प्लीज रीना राहुल जी सेड दैट कि बीजेपी लगा देगी आपका आपका देश हमारा देश आज आप कैसे आग लगाएंगे हमारा देश आग लग जाएगी आप कौन होते आप कौन होते हैं आग लगाने के लिए रीना रीना यस रीना ऑल इयर्स लिस्ट अर्नब आज मंगलवार का दिन है और आज मंगलवार का शुभ दिन है अर्नब और बजरंग की दया से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो अपना एक्सटॉर्शन डिपार्टमेंट ईडी चला रखा है आज उसको लगाम मिली है आज संजय सिंह को बेल मिली है और ईडी का पर्दाफाश हो गया है आज कोर्ट में ईडी से पूछा गया कि आपके पास मनी ट्रेल कहां है दिखाइए ईडी के पास दिखाने के लिए कुछ नहीं था और बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गया कि ये जो इतने दिन से भाजपा ही बोलते रहते थे शराब घोटाला शराब घोटाला ये कुछ शराब घोटाला हुआ नहीं है ये सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के द्वारा लिखी मनोहर कहानियां पहली बात दूसरी बात अर्नब आज बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन इसलिए भी है क्योंकि संजय सिंह एक अकेले नेता हैं जिनको ईडी से बेल मिली है बिना भारतीय जनता पार्टी में जाए हुए अभी तक ऐसा चला आ रहा था कि ईडी की रेट पड़ती थी ईडी अरेस्ट करती थी और वो नेता चले जाते थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अपने आप को बेल दिलवाने के लिए लेकिन क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी के सारे नेता इंक्लूडिंग संजय सिंह सारे के सारे नेता जो हैं एकदम कट्टर ईमानदार नेता हैं 
और किसी ने कोई गलत काम नहीं किया आज कोर्ट के सामने बिल्कुल भारतीय जनता पार्टी को मुंह की खानी पड़ी जब कोर्ट ने कहा कि आप दिखाइए कहा मनी ट्रेल है आप अपोज करिए अगर आप आप नहीं दिखा सकते तो आप बेल को अपोज करिए ईडी एकदम चुप हो गई और संजय सिंह को बेल मिली तो आज ये बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन है एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट अर्ना मुझे कंप्लीट करने दीजिए दूसरी बात अगर देश में आग लगेगी कि नहीं आग लगाने की आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी ब्रिंग मी ऑन एयर ऑन दिस विंडो रीना जी आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी आप कह रहे हैं आग लगेगी ओनली टू व्यूज राहुल गांधी ने कहा आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं नहीं मुझे बोलने तो दीजिए वो कह रहे हैं आग लग जाएगी अगर हम हार गए मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मुझे मैं ये जानना बोलने तो बिल्कुल दूंगा मगर मेरे जवाब तो दे दीजिए कि आग लगे आप कह दीजिए आग नहीं लगेगी डू अग्री और डिस आग लगने वाली बात आ, क्या है आ, कोई हारता है कोई जीतता है कोई चेंजेस लाता है कोई नहीं लाता है मगर आप अगर ये कहना शुरू करें कि आप मैं हार गया तो आग लगा दूंगा ये क्या ये कैसी बात हो गई मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी ये आप इस आपको इस पर पोजीशन लेना होगा रही ना यू के नॉट अवॉइड दिस क्वेश्चन बहुत सीरियस क्वेश्चन इट्स माई कंट्री इट्स योर कंट्री इट्स आवर इट्स नो 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 आई आई डोंट वॉन्ट नो नो जवाब मैं केजरीवाल जी के पूरे इशू पर और उस पर सेकेंड डिबेट में रहा है आज कह रहा हूं कि सबसे बड़ा मुद्दा है कि एक राजनीतिक दल के नेता आगे कहते हैं मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी मैं हार गया तो आप आग लग जाएगी क्यों आग लगेगी भाई आप 2014 में हार गए आग लग गई 2019 में हार गए आग लग गई अब आपको लग रहा है तीसरी बार हार गए तो आग लग जाएगी क्यों लगेगी आग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस लगाए गए तो आग लग जाएगी सौ से ज्यादा चेंजेस आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में आप खुद ला चुके हैं तो आग क्यों लगेगी उन्नीस में इकहत्तर में आप चेंजेस लाए तब आग नहीं लगी आग लग जाएगी वाली ये क्या बात है इस पर पॉइंट मैं पॉइंटेड आई जस्ट आई कंप्लीटली वांट टू आस्क यू हाउ कैन यू अग्री विद दिस कमेंट आग लग जाएगी ये इमोशनल बात है आप देश के नव युवकों को सबको कह रहे हैं आग लगा देंगे अगर हम हार गए तो ये क्या बात हुई रीना जी वन मिनट ये आग लग जाएगी आग नहीं लगेगी आप बोलिए आप ट्वीट कीजिए आज आज नहीं लगेगी कोई भी राजनीतिक डिफरेंसेज है पोलिटिकल डिफरेंसेज जरूर थे है और रहेंगे मगर ये कहना आग लग जाएगी ये क्या बचपन है ये क्या आग लग जाएगी आग मैं कह रहा हूं मैं जानता हूं आग लग जाएगी आई एम टेलिंग यू मुझे सब कुछ पता है मैं ज्ञानी हूं आग लग जाए आग क्यों लगेगी जो भी चुनाव आप कहते हैं फिक्स्ड मैच है अगर आपको लगता है फिक्स्ड मैच है रीना जी बडोरिया जी तो चुनाव मत लड़िए कही हम बहिष्कार कर रहे हैं फिक्स मैच है आप लड़ेंगे भी आपके एम पी जीते तो आप जाएंगे भी संसद में और बाहर पर कहेंगे फिक्स मैच है आग लगा देंगे आग लगेगी ये क्या बात हुई ये क्या बात हुई ये कैसी भाषा है वाई यू अलाउंग इट आप कही आज रीना आप अपने ट्विटर हैंडल से ट्वीट कीजिए हैश टैग आग नहीं लगेगी आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल पीपल टू नाइट रीना जी आज बिल्कुल चुप हो गई है सुधींद्र भदौरिया जी भी चुप है क्योंकि इनको हिम्मत नहीं है हैश टैग लगाइए आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगने नहीं देगी आग लग गई नहीं मैं बोलने दूंगा नैरेटिव नहीं है इसको नैरेटिव ना कहे ये नैरेटिव ना आप बोलिए आप बोलिए रीना जी आप बोलिए आप बोलिए हमें तो दिक्कत हमें चिंता आपकी हो रही है अरे मैं तो बोल रहा हूँ आप अरे पानी पीने की बात ही दिल की बात कह रहा हूँ आग नहीं लगेगी ट्रांसलेट टू The country will burn and you are also saying the country will be dead. Country will not survive. The country will not survive. The country will burn. आग लग जाएगी. देश खत्म हो जाएगी. क्या बात है? अरे आप हार गए तो देश खत्म हो जाएगा. खुद ही दे रहे हो सवाल भी खुद. आग लग जाएगी. आग लगा दे. अरे आप कोई पूछ रहा हूँ ना आपको प्रोवोक कर रहा हूँ कि आप जवाब दें आप लोग बिल्कुल खड़े हैं ट्रांसफिक्स आप समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं क्या कहे राहुल गांधी के कमेंट लग जाएगी अच्छा बोलिए मैं चुप हूँ अच्छा I'm quiet I'm quiet you say आप पहले पहले रीना जी बोले फिर भड़ोरिया जी बोले सब बोले भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी कोशिश करेगी आग लगाने की लेकिन मेरे देश में आग नहीं लगेगी क्योंकि हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी को आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं लगाने देंगे दस साल से भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोशिश मैं कर रहा हूं देश में आग नहीं लगेगी लेकिन हम नहीं लगाने देंगे आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने की बात कौन कर रहा है आग नहीं लगेगी और आप कह रहे नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग नहीं लगेगी आप आग लगाने की बात क्यों कर रहे हैं चुप क्यों है सुधींद्र बडौरिया जी 
ट्रेंडिंग सब्जेक्ट है देश के लोग मेरे साथ राहुल गांधी के साथ नहीं आग लगेगी आग लगाने आप बोलिए सुधीन्द्र जी लेकिन मेरा देश महान है और हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम नहीं लगने देंगे हमें तो लग रहा है हमें तो लग रहा है अर्णब अर्णब तो आप आपके दिमाग अर्णब आपके दिमाग में जरूर आग लग गई है अनुराग भदौरिया को सुरेंद्र भदौरिया बोल रहे हैं तो आग तो आपके दिमाग में लगी है तो आपके दिल में जो आग लगी है उसको पहले बुझाइए उसके बाद हम कुछ कहे सवाल है जब आप अपने अंदर में आग लगाए हैं जो वो आग बुझाइए फिर किसी को बोलने का मौका दीजिए सवाल राष्ट्रवाद की सोच को बुझा दू तब आप खुश होंगे मैं राष्ट्रवादी नहीं रहूं तो आप खुश रहेंगे इफ आई से हैप्पी बुझा दू मैं नहीं बुझेगी नहीं बुझेगी अरे मेरी अंदर की आग जो है वो नहीं बुझेगी वो नहीं बुझेगी जब तक ये सारे एंटी नेशनल के खिलाफ मेरा कैंपेन खत्म ना हो सुंदर भरिया को अनुराग भदौरिया रीना जी को कुछ और नाम से बुलाने लगेंगे तो आप तो बोल रहे हैं खुद इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूँ की आप शांत हो ये पानी पीजिए दिमाग को ठंडा तो आपको कह रहा हूँ अनुराग भदौरिया अनुराग भदौरिया जी देखो आप अनुराग भदौरिया जी इस कॉमेंट आप अच्छा देखिए सवाल ये सवाल ये बोलिए इस देश के अंदर में कोई भी देखो बेरोजगारी की जिंदगी में तो बेरोजगारों की जिंदगी में तो वैसे ही आग लगी हुई है वो बेरोजगारी से आत्महत्या कर रहे हैं तो उनकी तो उनकी जो बेरोजगारी है वो तो खत्म करो सवाल ये है सवाल ये छात्रों पे आप लाठियां बरसा रहे हो छात्री की जिंदगी में तो वैसे ही आपने आग लगा रखी है ना उनका पेपर लीक हो जाता है वो जिंदगी से वैसे ही जूझ रहे हैं किसान वैसे ही परेशान उसकी जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है उसकी जिंदगी बेचारे उनको एमएसपी की गारंटी नहीं मिल रही है उनको धरना प्रदर्शन करना पड़ता है महिलाओं की जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है जो अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए अपनी अपनी बचाने के लिए अपनी उनके ऊपर जो अत्याचार हो रहा है वो लड़ रही है मणिपुर में मणिपुरी घटना देखो या चाहे महलवाल पहलवानों की देखो या कहीं आप बी एच घटना देखो किसने उनकी जिंदगी में आग लगाई है सवाल ये है तो इसलिए आपको समझना पड़ेगा देश के जो असली मुद्दे हैं उस मुद्दों पे चर्चा नहीं करके आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी अरे आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी ऐसा बोल रहा जैसे लग रहा है आग लग रही है कहां आग लग रही है ऐसा आपके अंदर भूत सवार हो गया आग लग गई कहां लग गई किधर लग गई अरे आग का मतलब तो समझो की आग लग जाएगी अरे आग मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा लोगों मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा जिस तरह से परेशान नहीं कहा लोग मैंने नहीं कहा ये राहुल गांधी का कमेंट है इट इज राहुल गांधी कमेंट की आग लग जाएगी मैंने नहीं कहा सॉरी भदौरिया जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं कहा आई नेवर सेड यूज द वर्ड आप ही बोल रहे हैं इट्स नॉट माई वर्ड मैं मच्छोर आदमी हूँ आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी अरे भैया तिरासी परसेंट युवा बेरोजगार है आई लो की रिपोर्ट है आप क्या कहना चाहते उनकी जिंदगी को खुशी कौन देगा आप बताइए मुझे महंगाई चल रही है सपोर्ट कर उनकी खुशी कौन देगा मैं पूछ रहा चाहता हूँ आपसे देश के युवाओं के बारे में कभी चर्चा होगी नहीं होगी कि आग लग जाएगी आपको मैं कह रहा हूँ राहुल गांधी से ये पूछिए भाई आग ने ये क्या हो रहा है आग लग जाएगी कमेंट हैज बीन मेड बाय राहुल मिस्टर बडौरिया आप गलत कह रहे हैं राहुल गांधी कॉमेंट नॉट माइंड वेस्टिंग योर टाइम नहीं नहीं मैं कह रहा हूँ अरे बात को समझने की जरूरत है अर्णब जी इस देश के अंदर में हमें मुद्दों पे बात इस कमेंट वाज मेड बाय राहुल नॉट मी पार्टी मुद्दों से चर्चा नहीं करना चाहती हम मुद्दों पे बोल से भागती है ये मुद्दा नहीं है आग लग जाएगी अगर नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बने तो आग लग जाएगी ये मुद्दा नहीं है आपने युवाओं की समस्या की बात नहीं की जो इस देश की मैं युवा इस देश की धड़कन है उसके बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है छात्रों के बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है महिला समस्या पे कोई बात नहीं हो रही है समाज में जो आदमी पैरों पे खड़ा होना चाहता है उसके लिए बात नहीं हो रही है अर्थव्यवस्था पे बात नहीं हो रही है शिक्षा पे बात नहीं हो रही है स्वास्थ्य पे बात नहीं हो रही है इस पे चर्चा क्यों नहीं हम किस बात पे बात करें डिस्ट्रक्टिव मैसेज बात पे चर्चा कर रहे हैं रेटरिक भारतीय जनता पार्टी जिस तरह की राजनीति है देश के अंदर में नफरत की राजनीति कौन कर रहा है देश के अंदर में विकास की राजनीति नहीं करता 
कौन इस देश के मुद्दों पे बात नहीं करता भाई इंडिया गठबंधन क्यों बना इंडिया गठबंधन बना राष्ट्र को बचाने के आ गए राष्ट्र के मुद्दों पर नहीं रहा है हमारी पार्टी की आइडियोलॉजी डिफरेंट है हम हम अलग अलग पार्टियों से फिर भी मेरे साथ मंच पे क्यों खड़े हैं क्योंकि हमें राष्ट्र और को बचाना है संविधान बचाना है अच्छा और को और को और को देश को बचाने की लड़ाई है इसलिए हम सब चला रहे हैं कम इन एंड मेक माय पॉइंट प्लीज और को और को और को वन मिनट गौरव बिफोर आई कम टू और को और को यू आर फ्रॉम बंगाल यू आर फ्रॉम बंगाल यू सपोर्ट द तृणमूल कांग्रेस Now, now, if the no, what? Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. I, I admit. Uh, I, I, I tell you one. Just one minute, yar. One minute, yar. Mr. Badori, one minute, sir. Or go. You are from Bengal. If somebody says the Congress party is reduced to zero seats in Bengal, the Congress party, which used to be in power in Bengal in one time, is reduced to zero seats. And if somebody says agun lagiye debo. आगुन लेके जाबे विच इज बंगाली ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ आग लगा देंगे आग लग जाएगी विद तृणमूल कांग्रेस एक्सेप्ट इट व्हाट कैन लैंग्वेज इज इट इज द इज द होल कंट्री रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर पिटीफुल स्टेट हिंदुस्तान को भालो किसी हो बे ना अनोख दा चिंता करो ना आप लोग भालो दा बत्ती दा चे अरे आई एम नॉट सेइंग ही सेइंग व्हाट यू मीन चिंता करो ना और करना है और को और को आप लोग और को योर रिस्पांस तू द कमेंट की आग लग जाएगी द पॉइंट इज लाउड एंड क्लियर सरकार की काज कर The results, the results of the elections have to be looked into, and uh, of course, there is there is no hide and seek to the fact that all political parties, irrespective of being in power in some state or in the central or being in the opposition, they have to respect the mandate of the people. But the point which is very important and pertinent here is that the elections should be free and fair, and there cannot be any interruption or any management, as many of the political parties, including the Trinamool Congress, is uh, afraid of that the Bharatiya Janata Party will misuse their position while being in power, and the huge amount of money they have accumulated, uh, rightly or wrongly, I am not getting into that debate. But the point is very uh, clear. the elections has to be free and fair and for that reason if a pressure has to be uh, created from the judiciary the judiciary is already uh, speaking their mind on many issues at the same point of time why should, why so should far the judiciary the create pressure amendments are uh, concerned so yes there is a procedure no i'm sorry of course they are they are they are speaking their mind aloud there they is are a procedure speak, they have also spoken on de demonetization they have spoken on the role of the ed and the cbi they are speaking their minds one after the another and i believe the people of the country can hear it what the judiciary is saying i am not saying the judiciary is making a political statement but what i am saying is the judiciary is bringing whatever there is a, a mistake or whatever wrong has been committed no, that is other been bringing, i want a very specific to, i think uh, i i see a lot of i see a lot of uh, orko you know, orko orko i want to keep uh, it very narrow focus and, so far and now i want to bring back ramesh savarwal and gaurav bhatia into the debate so i'd like no 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 No, I'd like to one no thing, sir no sir so, so far as Ramesh, the amendments are concerned Ramesh, there is a procedure Ramesh, and Reena no and Gaurav on the debate the procedure has to be followed but the amendments Arna, will I get the my time I've been patiently what's wrong? waiting not even interrupting anybody I think it's a very just one one minute, one minute. there is a process offering. I'm just coming to you Gaurav you should give me my time I, I'm coming you know. to you Gaurav Gaurav Ramesh first of all you have four yeah, persons you. opposing Ramesh, the bjp bharatiya janata party then you don't do you want to give me time now two mahine bache hain uske baad bharatiya janata party ka time khatam ho raha hai kya time bacha kahan hai just one minute gaurav with, with ramesh and aap please thank you chill please can i can i tell the producers here have we got the windows now yeah yes. gaurav we bring back the focus to the aag lag jayegi comment gaurav bhatia yes absolutely i am only on that you know today when you were asking the aap spokesperson to speak on the subject i think you know in a mathematics exam she has mugged up her physics paper and she started speaking on a different topic altogether but mujhe ajeeb laga ki matches bhi ab aag nahi lagegi bol rahi hai are matches ka to kaam hi aag lagana hai chahe rahul gandhi ho chahe arvind kejriwal ho chahe akhilesh yadav ho and let me tell you what aag lagana is TMC spokesperson was waxing eloquence. He said that respect the mandate of the people. CAA is a validly passed law, but when it was being implemented, Arnab Mamta Banerjee said there will be civil war 
इन दी एंटायर कंट्री इसको कहते हैं आग लगाना सेकेंड ई सेड दट इलेक्शन शुड बी फ्री एंड फेयर बट पंचायत इलेक्शन वेन दे टूक प्लेस इन वेस्ट बेंगाल थर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द सीट वर वन बाय द टी एम सी अन अपोज टू विच द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिमार्क दैट डेमोक्रेसी इज डेड इन वेस्ट बेंगाल एंड वी ऑल नो अबाउट संदेश खाली वी नो अबाउट सेकेंड बे वेन दी असेंबली इलेक्शन रिजल्ट वर डिक्लेयर यू नो हाउसेज वर बर्न आग लगा दी थी वेमेन वर रेप्ड some people were murdered because they voted for the bjp so at least the tmc should not talk about also, you know law and order about the spirit of the constitution coming to the congress party aag lag jayegi congress party ne to aag hi lagayi hai desh mein 1984 sikh rights pehlwan melaon ke are innocent sikh citizens kya wo manipur mein kya tires were put bolo, bolo. on their body ankita bandar and they were burned by the light to a sikh girl and burned by the light to a sikh girl one can ever what the party hai bhai how the brothers were burned by the light we got anurag ji one minute anurag ji three minutes right now bjp aap hai congress comment when he said bada ped gir है अब ये लोग क्यों ऐसे कर रहे हैं अंडा भी कुछ नहीं कर रहे ये कौन से अच्छा ये कहा से ये लोग दे आर वर्स यू नो आई डोंट वांट टू यूज अ वेरी हार्श वर्ड्स बट दे आर वर्स देन हुलिगंस they are like nin kam poops because three of them speaking speak together so that the viewers can hear no the points i'm making no, bring back the focus on the debate bring back the focus right on the debate ye kya bring back the focus on the debate How yes. are you allowing him to talk this nonsense? Ah, Sonia, Sonia. We need to remove no bad language. 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 No bad and she loves to do all this uh, every day she no, does this no and i don't want to engage no with her you know it's below no my dignity no below my dignity to engage no, with no, her no 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 we don't want personal attacks we don't want personal attacks no 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 we don't want personal attacks i don't want to support stay out of it one minute one minute one minute sir can i tell you we all know we all know the situation of law and order in up is much better now than before go back to the issue reena you speak so much what he has said you are avoiding the subject you just have to tell me do you agree with this aag lag jayegi comment i know you don't you know gorav i know she doesn't no no ye vivash hai aaj reena ji jante hue bhi vivash inko support karna pad raha hai rahul gandhi she is bound i already gave my answer reena 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 आप अग्री करते हैं अपने आप को राष्ट्रवादी कहते हैं ये ऐसे व्यक्ति है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर रही है पिछले दस साल से पिछले दस साल से मैक्सिमम हेट स्पीचेस दो हुई हैं फिफ्टी फिफ्टी ना वर्सेस में हुई हैं गौरव गौरव हमारा देश महान है आप राजेंद्र गौतम आग नहीं लगने वो जो मिनिस्टर इंडिया आप गवर्नमेंट राजेंद्र गौतम स्विंग वेनम अगेंस्ट द हिंदू ताहिर हु we will not allow he is not secured bail yet he was the person who instigated the mob in the delhi Aam violence tahir hussain kiska aur aise parche ka ahankar chur chur hoga which party did tahir hussain belong to chur hoga jaise tahir hussain ka indian citizens innocent lost their life because of the hooliganism because of the gundaism that you people teach to your workers so don't come here and preach If you can answer me on Tahir Hussain, if you can answer me on Rajendra Gautam, then we can have a meaningful our debate. Our workers were not okay? in Noida. Okay, Tahir Hussain has not got bail, and you people were coming and defending him. So dare you or I utter a word? आपको भी पता है अगर Noida में गुंडा रहा जाए तो उसके लिए कौन जिम्मेदार है? सबसे बड़ी आग लगाने की मशीन कोई है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और जेल की सलाखों के पीछे है सारी आग अभी ठंडी हो जाएगी नरेंद्र मोदी जी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री एवरी ब्रिंग ऑफ द कंट्री 
एंड कोई माइकल आ रही है कोई के सुनना जाके बताना अरविंद केजरीवाल को जाके बताना राहुल गांधी को कोई माइकल लाल नहीं है भारत में आग लगा दे आप भी बोलना प्रधानमंत्री जी को हमारे हमारे नेता को ज़्यादा आप जाके बताना कोई प्रधानमंत्री जी आखिरी सांस तक भारत के लिए है दस साल से वो इनकी पेवरी संविधान एंड राहुल गांधी एंड पीपल लाइक राहुल गांधी राहुल गांधी क्वालिटी He wants people being with him. आप लोग बलिदान मैं 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 बलिदान मैं बलिदान और क्या के बारे में बताता हूँ व्यूअर्स 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 लास्ट नगेट फ्रॉम मी मेरी बात सुनिए सबरवाल जी ये इमो कार्ड मत ले कीजिए इमोशनल कार्ड मेरे साथ मैं 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 सच्चाई नहीं आई आई टेल यू समथिंग मैं जानता हूँ 1975 मिसेस इंट्रोड्यूस दर्टी नाइन अमेंडमेंट टू दूशन विच नलिफाइड जून नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव वर्डिक्ट ऑफ द अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट विच फाउंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिरा गांधी गिल्टी ऑफ करप्ट इलेक्टोरल प्रैक्टिस आप लोग आजकल लेक्चर देते हो ना मैं बात आप लेक्चर देते हो ना आपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंड किया इंदिरा गांधी को बचाने के लिए फ्रॉम चार्जेस ऑफ करप्शन पार्टी गवर्नमेंट इन उत्तर प्रदेश एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पीपल से मेरे साथ आग नहीं लगेगी मुजफ्फरनगर आए फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पीपल डिस्प्लेस वेमेन रेप सिटीजन बर्डर चले जाने की जरूरत नहीं है And Akhilesh Yadav was indulging in appeasement politics, discriminating even the basis of which they are giving compensation. These people come here to debate. अरे पार्टी को बचाओ सत्ता का देश सुरक्षित है टूटी साइकिल को बचाओ पहिया निकल गया टायर फट गया हैंडल टूट गया यहाँ आके बात करेंगे राष्ट्र राष्ट्र संविधान में परिवर्तन करना अपनी पार्टी को बचाओ परिवार वाली पार्टी संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल डिबेट टू टू नाइट संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल वेर इज द मनी ट्रेल द मनी ट्रेल डिबेट वन आई एम बैक Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Congress को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है, तो इन्होंने कर्नाटका को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है पार्टी ने अपने और आपको एक और गहरे संकट में डाल दिया इन दर ओवर इंथूजी आजम इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम एंड टू क्लच एट स्ट्रॉस टू ट्राई एंड प्रोजेक्ट अ रूटीन ऑर्डिनरी बेल एज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ क्लीन शिट एंड अ विक्ट्री द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज फर्दर इंडाइटेड इट सेल्फ टूडे
15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking and proactive professionals. Three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff of Starlink 645. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. of the debate tonight and time now for the nation's sharpest opinion. Sanjay Singh is one of the right-hand people of Arvind Kejriwal and he's got bail after six months today. And the circumstances, the observations and the happenings around that bail decision is what has got me curious. The court asked the straight question and the one I've been asking myself to the BJP. Where is the money trail? Not the approver mail the money trail because this liquor case has been going on since 2022 and the ED is investigating ED has to establish a money trail we are about two years short now at the end of the day two years on it all comes down to one thing proving a money trail proving that money was made proving the link proving the defined route from where the money went. No doubt money was made. No doubt, 100%, 338 crores minimum benefits to be exact as said by the Supreme Court. The question is, whose pocket did it go to? The question is, how exactly was it spent? That is what we mean by money trail. The allegation, we know that the AAP used the money in the Goa election, but just because the allegation is that the money was used, it cannot be that the money trail cannot be concrete. There has to be a defined route, a defined eventual beneficiary and the ED will have to get very specific down to where the alleged kickbacks went. And the more time goes, the more questions will be asked. On the other hand, I think the AAP is jumping the gun. They cannot get very preachy about the bail given to Sanjay Singh because the observations made in the court on Sanjay Singh's case cannot be and are not a blanket cover to the allegations against everyone else, including Kejriwal. And that's what Atish here, Saurabh Bhardwaj don't say. That the observations in the Sanjay Singh case are only about Sanjay Singh, not about Sisodia, not about Satendra Jain, not about Arvind Kejriwal. And as equally, if the AAP says that they hail the courts for bail, they cannot go anti the courts when they keep their functionaries in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, this hashtag 
is interesting. Bail or trail? What do you think will happen eventually? Will they all get bail? Or will the ED find the money trail? That's what I mean with the hashtag bail or trail. You can choose which way you think. Tell me what you think. We have a poll live on Republic World. Let's debate. After six months in jail, Aap Sanjay Singh gets bail. The Rajya Sabha MP given bail after no objection from the ED. Aap satya ko daba sakte hain, lekin aap satya ko mita nahi sakte hain. Aaj Sanjay Singh ji ki zamanat ne ye dikha diya. Humne dekha ke kis tarha se पिछले दो साल से एक एक करके एक एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था फंसाया जा रहा था लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जीत सत्य की ही होती है तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन ईडी ऑन द मनी ट्रेल इन द लिकर गेट स्कैम नो मनी हैज बीन रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम संजय सिंह सच की जीत हुई है हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी भाजपा के टॉप लीडर्स गिरफ्तार होंगे ये बहुत जरूरी है कि सवाल पूछा जाए That Singh took two crore rupees as kickbacks, with the BJP attacking up over the party's political vendetta claim. Deal mil gayi aur ED ne oppose bhi nahi kiya. Dekhiye, iske hamari jo court system ki, hamari judiciary ki jo robust independence hai. Ab wo kehte hain, kal jab Rahul Gandhi ji bol rahe the, us din Ramlila Maidan owner ne bola. इलेक्शन कमीशन ये फिक्स्ड मैच है इलेक्शन कमिश्नर भी आपके हैं जुडिशरी भी आपकी है अरे भाई जुडिशरी हमारी होती तो ये इतनी बढ़िया स्कीम है इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड क्यों उन्होंने उसको नेगेटिव कर दिया तो ये तो ये हमारी हमारी डेमोक्रेसी की खासियत है कि हम हम अगर कोर्ट्स कोर्ट्स इंडिपेंडेंट है वो जो भी निर्णय लेंगे पर ईडी ने अपोज भी नहीं किया आप संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल विदाउट दी ईडी अपोजिंग इट विद सुप्रीम कोर्ट आस्किंग वॉट वी आर आस्किंग Where is the money trail? Let's debate. Uh, to in Sina, you know, at the end of the day, you can have a million approvers, but you've got to have a money trail. Where's the money trail? Arnab on thirtieth October two thousand twenty-three, when when Manish Sisodia's bail plea had come up for hearing. under the same judge justice sanjeev khanna the judgment had very clearly said that a money trail of tentatively uh, money trail of 338 crore stands tentatively established and that was one of the reasons or that was the key reason for denying bail to manish sisodia so obviously you know uh, i think you need to give it more time because that case will come up for hearing but having said that uh, sanjeev singh was never no, no. seen as the chief collaborator or the kingpin in the case If, if in this case the money trail has not uh, been why was he arrested? yet, that does not. Then why was he arrested? The Ahmadi Party. If he was not a collaborator, a if he did not have a significant role, why was he arrested? If you you are saying that now, you didn't say that six months back. Why was he arrested? Because at that point of time, if he is not a key kingpin collaborator or have a key role, why was he arrested? If at that point of time, no, no. If at that point of time the ED felt that interrogation was required. there were charges of 2 uh, crore money being given to him if at that point of time ed felt that interrogation was required and if in the last 6 months he has answered the question satisfactorily <coughs> obviously things change in the span of 6 months things change what changes sorry what changes uh, please can i be on screen what changes no no if the months. ed is if the ed feels that further custody further custody of mr singh is not required in this in the specific case then obviously they would not they, they derive no joy in keeping him in jail for eternity like i said that does not absolve arvind kejriwal but what Keshwar joy did they get in keeping him in jail for 6 months in in uh, no no they they wanted certain information certain in interrogation had to be carried out and he may have you know addressed those questions <laughs> satisfactorily I think these questions are best answered by ED based on the information that we have on public domain the uh, the court has very ED doesn't come on my program that you know today's 
Today's bail any which way is not based on merit. No, that's no, wrong. no. I, I, I want to make one point here. I want to make one point here. The court literally cornered the ED today, Tohin, and said that you have a choice, the Section 45 of the PMLA, and we will invoke Section 45 of PMLA, which will have cascading consequences for the rest of the case. Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, ladies and gentlemen, in Nugget says either the court believes there is no case or feels that there is nothing more than can that that can be the or the individual will not influence the case if he's out uh, observation a uh, bail under section 45 pmla would have been embarrassing for the ed and hence the ed chose not to press for bail so people who were surprised in the morning when they saw that the ed has gone soft on sanjay singh it's not correct the ed did not go soft on sanjay singh it was a tactical decision a strategic decision by the Honorable ASG SV Raju not to allow the bail under Section 45 PMLA, but rather to intervene and not press for bail. Now, having said that, that's a technicality. The important thing is the focus has come on where the money trail is. 338 crores, you are correct, Tohin, was the observation made by the Honorable Court of Justice Khanna regarding the money that was made in this case minimum but the money being made by 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 corporate groups or by the south group or others is different from money being made by a politician you don't have to prove to him that the money has been made by certain people because there is no doubt the liquor policy gave cascading returns to individual business people now the question to you is more complex to him which politician made the money and if it is a Hawala transaction, as you allege, how will you prove there is a trail to the Hawala transaction? You are saying I will rely on approver statements. Will that be enough? Will that you know, be enough? To win the question is to you. you know, I, the debate is on. I am not representing. I am not representing the ED over here. I am representing the BJP. And I have implicit trust in the institutions that the, they are fighting the case out. If uh, the, in, in the previous uh, judgment on 30th October, the judge had called for winding up the case in six to eight months, I'm sure ED is aware of the deadline, e ED is aware of the timeline and working no, no. towards it. Excuse me. You, you represent, represent the party, party that, that controls the ED. You represent the party that has administrative and supervisory control over the ED. You represent the party that appoints no, no, the don't, ED. I, I don't, don't trivialize this debate. Don't trivialize, don't trivialize this debate. This is a, you know, don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. Don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. No, please don't attack me. Please attack the argument I'm making. No, no, the attack BJP does not BJP control ED. The you BJP the does not control ED. When you cannot it controls your mind. Oh, you don't, is it? You don't. You ha if if you are a lawyer, you should you should take responsibility right? for the statement that you are making. The BJP does not control the ED. It probably you controls will your mind. On all the discoveries that the ED makes, you, you will have use to the arrest the ED makes if you, to take the opposition. As a lawyer, you the have prime to minister the says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. March 31st in Meerut, Prime Minister Modi says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. So the today, Supreme Court has given them bail, Mr. Prime Minister, what do you have to say? Like what do you Court have to say? Ever? The Supreme Court that your lackeys wrote a letter attacking last Deke, week, Arnab what do you have Shant to say? Sanjay. The Supreme Court has given Sanjay Singh bail and next is Sisodia, then Kejriwal, no, no, then Heman Soren, Kek Kavita. This is the beginning of the end of this extortion department and his reign of terror. This is the end of the reign of terror of the ED. The end has begun. How can it absolve Mani Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal? First of all, as Mr. Goswami, whose understanding of the law I must commend, Section 45 of the PMLA clearly states if you are released on bail, the court believes you are not guilty of the offense. Them for no. How can a trial court find Sanjay Singh guilty when months, the Supreme Court has granted him bail, saying there is no prima facie case similar. made out against him? You are relying on approvers? But then, okay, okay, let, let, let me, let me, let me, one minute, one minute. Uh, can I get Tuhin on the debate? It's a hot debate. I'm just simplifying it for you. You're approved. One minute, now, 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 please. Abhishek, cool it, please. Let Arnab. others come in. Tuhin, I give you a chance to reply. Suhail is waiting. 
Anmol hasn't spoken Arnab, yet. Arnab, there is a difference uh, between a chief the point being, and a collaborator. Yeah. So, oh, oh, no, no, oh, I'll see. So, so first, well, let's collaborate. The collaborator, that, no, he's not that, a that is there on your show. Oh, one minute. Can down. you, can you, Abhishek? Uh, I want to hear the other side. Can Arnab you not do that, please? Thank no, you. No, nobody can dare speak to me. When Arnab is speaking to me, please, Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Don't let him complete, Abhishek. Please don't. Don't, don't, don't. Is he a cheerleader for the liquor lobby? <laughs> Is he a cheerleader for the liquor lobby? Look at these personal attacks. Can you not? Can you not, please? Can you calm down, everyone, please? It's a, it's a, it's a, very, it's a very delicately poised matter. And Abhishek, there is no point trying to provoke Tuhin on this. It's a serious matter to which I want to bring the point here. And Sohail, I'm coming to you last. Apologies, but I want to go to the AAP spokesperson here. You see, you make a big deal of what the Supreme Court has said, asked a question here. So the Supreme Court has asked a question here, where is the money trail? The Supreme Court has not said there is no money trail. Now earlier, the Supreme Court has made more scathing observations and the court has said that a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. You don't want to talk about that. When Justice Khanna says one aspect regard to the transfer of money, 338 crores is tentatively established, we have dismissed the bail. Would you hail them for that? You say, no, let's not talk about that. That's not right. The Supreme Court has also said there is enough evidence to prove that Satyendra Jain is prima facie guilty of the alleged offences. The Supreme Court bench said we are of the opinion, and I quote here, we are of the opinion that the appellants have miserably failed to satisfy us that there are reasonable grounds for believing they are not guilty of the alleged offences. On the contrary, everyone on, there is sufficient material collected by the ED to show that they are prima facie guilty of the alleged offences. At that point of time, you don't speak much about that. If I speak about it, you say you're making a mountain out of a molehill. So you're being selective. So don't jump too much, Anmol. This is just an observation. I can t show you a thousand more scathing observations as well. Anmol. Can I, can I, can I respond? Arnab, today marks the victory of truth over falsehood, righteousness over unrighteousness, and justice over injustice. From the outset, we have been saying that you will not be able to detain us unjustly in this false and fabricated legal four, four on the screen. And today, and today, Lord Hanuman, wielding his mace, has begun dismantling your fortress of deceit, conspiracy and corruption, which has been erected by the BJP. First point. Second, the Honorable Supreme Court very categorically asked two questions from the lawyer of enforcement directorate. That why do you want to keep him in custody? They had no answers. That is there any trace of money? They had no answers. The court very specifically said that even after investigating the matter for two years, even after 500 raids, not a single penny has been recovered. And he was kept behind bars on the basis of false and fabricated allegations. As far as the allegation of 338 crore is concerned, Wait. Arnab, this one minute, one minute, you, one, one minute, one minute. Just one point. One point. Uh, Anmol, can I? Anmol, can I? Can I intervene now? Now, because you obviously have information that I don't. I, I have to. I have to make one. I need to point. be very factual with you. Uh, Anmol, Anmol, point. Anmol, Anmol. May I? May I? May I just ask you? May I just ask you, Anmol? May I just ask you for a clarification, if you don't mind? Can you show me a single place where the court has said that there were false and fabricated allegations against Sanjay Singh? The exact use of the words. Can you please, because guide me through it, please. Anab, Anab, I, I don't have Words, the order. Paragraph? I, I, I was, I was where, where did the, the court say the fabric? I, no, no. I was present in the hearing. The uh, counsel for the enforcement directorate conceded because he know otherwise the honorable court would have to make observations as per the mandate of conceded section 45 what? of the PMLA Act. Conceded what? The court clearly said. Yeah. Court clearly conceded said what? No, 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 the I'll court did not the use the said. phrase, the allegations against Sanjay Singh are false and fabricated. Said. By using, you are quoting wrong words Let, to the court. Not you can just not retract that, Let otherwise it will spiral Let out of control. I, I don't need to retract what has been held in the court today. The court very categorically so said So you should not misquote if, the Supreme if, Court thus. 
I have I have not misquoted the Supreme Court. The court said that they'll have to make they'll prima facie <coughs> have to make an observation as per the mandate of Section 45 of PMLA that Mr. Sanjay Singh has committed no offence. It has been very clearly stated. And you are very curious to know that where is the money trail? Arnab, on your show, day after day, I have been uh -huh. asking the BJP spokesperson that's a totally, that the data has that's a been established. Data has been published by the Election Commission of India, which says that 60 crore rupees has been transferred to the Bharatiya Janta Party from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam P. Sharad Reddy. Ninth, on 10th of November 2022, 5 crores was, were uh, donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. And on 8th November 2023, another 55 crores were donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. I, I and this was you. the reason why the enforcement Anmol. director did Anmol. not even oppose the bail application. And this was the same person who Anmol. turned into an approver Anmol. after six months being in Anmol. custody. And he also made Anmol. observations before the court that he has been right. threatened. Anmol. He has been uh, made under, uh, after being in undue influence after the coercion made by the officers of enforcement directorate. He was made to sign predicted statements implicating Mr. Kejriwal. Now, this is the reality of the so-called liquor scam. And the Bharatiya Janta Party is rattled because they don't now, have answers. Now, Anmol, can I come questions. in? Now, sure. now, Anmol, can I come in? Can I, now, can I respond to this? Anmol, can I come in? You know something, I completely understand and empathize the situation that you are in. There is a drought and you have to pull water out of a rock and you will if necessary. You will squeeze the greatest amount of meaning from a statement that has not been made. Even if the Honorable Supreme Court smiles at you, you will say that you are being exonerated. You are overread into things and underread into things as per your convenience. I would like to tell you I am a man of exactitude. I like to be factual and accurate, especially when I am dealing with the court. The Supreme Court has said today that in the first 10 statements of Dinesh Arora, there is no implication of Sanjay Singh, but goes on to say that later in the 10th statement he does. The fact is that Dinesh Arora initially had not implicated Sanjay Singh, but later on in the 10th statement he does. There is a slight change in his version. When we look at sections 45 and 19 PMLA, we have to take these factors into account. It has to be tested when he comes to the witness box. Please don't Anmol. read 40% of a sentence and remove 60%. What are you doing, Anmol? Arnav, what I'm doing is... And I'm too I'm smart saying, for that, I'm, Anmol. I'm telling, I'm I am, I am to too much people. too smart for yeah, that, no. Anmol. Because you are not willing to answer I'm much too to smart, BJP Anmol. Arnav, this same point, Anmol, I've asked the BJP the questions and you saw them uncomfortable. Sohail, 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 listen, Sohail, listen, Sohail, 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 listen, you are an uninterested... I haven't interrupted anyone. Arnab, let me complete. Did you ever ask the BJP spokesperson that why did they take 60 crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? You are looking for money trail. I am giving you evidence. The SBI has published the data. The election commission has published the data. Why are you not asking BJP spokesperson that why did they take 60 crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? Uh, Good. You are, now, you are the finished? one who are asking for, the, for this specific question at the start of your show. Then please ask this man. Arnab. Show some courage and ask this man that why did they take 60 crores from the kingpin of the liquor scam? And the same yeah, court. First of all, David, the same Arnab, court can, I, can I just come yeah, over here? Okay, yeah, I'll, Arnab, I'll why don't you have a program with these guys? We'll just keep quiet. Uh, one minute. Can, can I get can I get Sohail in one minute? Tohin, 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 Tohin. Let me get Sohail in. Then you come yeah. in. Sohail's listening. Sohail, listen. Sohail, you know that the way I look at it is this is a matter about perception. Nobody understands perception more than you. Which way is it? How is it looking? What are the risks for both? How do you read it, given the Sanjay Singh bail, and how do you think people are reading it, Sohail? I don't care about how people read it because I don't know enough people or as many people as you do. But let me just logically analyze what's happened today. Number one, Abhishek said lackeys. I wouldn't use the word lackeys for his own colleagues, but be that as it may, it's, he's entitled to his opinion. I think the one thing that has been established is that the courts are not under the control of the government. Agencies may or may not be under supervisory control, again, to quote a panelist on your program, but I don't think the courts are. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. Number two, 
Bail is not a dismissal of the case or an acquittal. It is merely bail. So while Sanjay Singh is out of jail, he is not acquitted of a crime that he may have been arrested for or custodially remanded for. Number three, I don't think with all the publicity at this case, the enforcement directorate would have gone this, this far if they didn't have any evidence to arrest a sitting chief minister, to arrest a member of parliament, to arrest a deputy chief minister. So that's number three. Number four, the same very Sanjay Singh today, who was granted bail by the Supreme Court, was also denied bail by various courts in the last six months. This is not the first time that he's appealed for bail. So the denial must have had some grounds. So if we believe that the courts are right today, we logically should believe that the courts were right then. Because you can't say that today, because the courts has exonerated him, the courts are fair. And because the courts didn't exonerate him earlier, the courts are unfair. I'm just talking as a, as a layperson. The other issue here is very simple. Now, I can't remember the gentleman, the Ahmadmi, Un Unmol, correct, Unmol. Unmol made a point saying that, look, establish the money trail of the 60 crores, which has been put up on the election commission's website. I totally agree. You cannot have selective amnesia when it comes to money trails or money that has been given, which is non-kosher. But to do what about tree is not the logical conclusion for this kind of an argument. And Anmol, my friend, what you're doing is right, saying that where is that? But that doesn't solve the issues that we are addressing today. The issues are very simple. Did anyone from Admam, Am Admi Party indulge in a conspiracy where the government of Delhi was robbed of its fair share of revenue from liquor? That's the moot point. Number two, was there any diversion of funds? Now, there has been a report in the newspapers. I'm not saying it. The newspapers are saying it. The same very newspapers that Ahmadmi spends a lot of money in advertising, as does the BJP. The newspapers say that they have now found a trail established somewhere in Goa that some Hawala transactions took place. Let that all come out. But I'm making a larger point here. If people are being arrested and then being freed for lack of evidence, it is a big, big statement on the way our judicial body's function. Because you cannot keep a person incarcerated if you don't have evidence. Now, this PMLA law is not a law of the BJP's doing. This law existed. This law in itself needs to be re-examined. If the law is being used to persecute people because of political vendetta, that also needs to be analyzed. So I think in the larger debate, yes, we need to, we need to introspect. But as of today, it can't be that Aam Aadmi Party has done nothing wrong. Because if that was the case, then Aam Aadmi Party knows how to fight. And this is going to be a massive fight on judicial parameters. I'm done. Please. You know, eventually, done, eventually, Anmol wants to respond here. Eventually, sure. remember, viewers, this is, this is going down to the wire. But it has a lot of certainty, this case. Either, now I'm putting a question here tonight, viewers, to you. Do you think it will be the turning point on republicworld.com? There is a poll on. And Anmol uh, and Tohin, the way there is public focus and public attention on it, both sides, BJP and AAP, are aware this is a fight to the finish. If there is a conviction, and let me say this, Anmol, if even one of the senior leaders get convicted, then the reputation of AAP is destroyed forever. Arnab, this is a false and fabricated case. And if Kejriwal is convicted, the I'll, AAP will I'll, be destroyed irretrievably. Hopefully, we'll meet uh, Arnab, someday after and so there's a lot uh, at stake one year yes. when all the leaders will get acquitted. And you must change this hashtag uh, from bail or trail to illegal arrest gate. Because this is what uh, this whole investigation scam is all about. Because after two years, they are still journalist. fishing now for he evidence. Wants to be the anchor they also. don't have a single shred of evidence. The so-called premier agency, which is working at the behest of Bharatiya Janata Party. Arnab, if if the a procedural bail for them, but but if but what is alarming is bail Arnab, for them is the amounts to the, all the cases Very being false and fabricated. So then they are actually indicting themselves. Can I can I can I just make a? 
One minute, yeah, one minute. You've made enough point. I want to make just, I want to ask Anmol a genuine question. This is not a facetious question. Let's imagine everything you're saying is true. What prevents you, when I say you, I mean the Aam Aadmi Party or other like-minded people, from actually going to the Supreme Court and saying that you believe that the agencies are functioning under political pressure? Because today, suddenly, there has been a reimposition of faith in the Supreme Court by all the parties. See, it's it's depending on the mood of the of the wokes and the liberals. If the Supreme Court votes against the government, then it is then democracy has returned. If it votes for the government, it means they are under governmental pressure. I mean, you can't have it both ways, na? No, I think you're that you are right, jumping the gun. What, 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 no, 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 how do you all? No, how do you all? How do you all? How do you all? Let me come Tomorrow in for a minute. There's an anchor anything. on this program. One minute. Tomorrow you can cast this version. No, 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 one minute. Yeah, Abhishek, don't jump too much. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. Minutes. Don't do this verbal yeah. trampoline on the program. My question is very simple. My, my one point is here. See, I'll tell you. And Tuhin is getting damn restless tonight. So I have to have Tuhin have a go at Anmol. And it'll be BJP versus AAP. Let them have a go at each other. I'm not going to. Tuhin, <laughs> you seem a little muted. Are you getting uncomfortable with what the court said today? My question to you is. Not at all. Repeatedly, not at all. I'm asking allowing... you: Is it coming down to money? Maybe, maybe, maybe to him. Till, till a week back, to him. Blood pressure pills today. Anmol, don't. Anmol, hey, they stop. You just Anmol, stop question is to him. You can, don't read his you know, body language. The fact is, this is. I I yeah, will okay, repeat him, Arnab on your show that you know, Aam Aadmi Party has a basic, has a fundamental lack of comprehension of issues today. That now that they, they've got a procedural bail, they say that all the charges have been proved false and fabricated, which you know they are actually indicting their own leaders. The fact that Manish Sisodia has not managed to get bail for the Tuhin. last 16 months that only only proves that you know all the charges against him are true. Tuhin. If the court has specifically said Tuhin, on 30th October, on just 10 seconds, that the tentative money this? trail of 338 crore has Tuhin, been established, they should wait this? for the next hearing Tuhin, of may that. I, may I? Yeah. May I? Tuhin, yes. Tuhin, Tuhin, uh, when the BJP, now what the BJP said on Sanjay Singh, now you are saying, coming on my program, that he's not the main man, but October 2023, everyone on. You said, as the BJP man. said, quote, his right-hand man Manish Sisodia has been languishing in jail for the past several months. Both the right hand and the left hand of Kejriwal are involved in corruption. It's Kejriwal who forces MPs and ministers to commit corruption to fill his coffers. The BJP at that point of time said that Dinesh Arora was the main link that implicated Sanjay Singh. And today the court says that the initial statements of Dinesh Arora did not implicate him, but he had a change of mind later. What the BJP said on Dinesh Arora's statement at that time was, Arora has admitted that he paid 32 lakh rupees as a bribe to Kejriwal by a check on being asked by Sanjay Singh at the meeting to pay for the party fund. So, you were very exact in October. You're not as exact in March. Can I come in? So, did you read too much into it then? Arnab no, no, Tuhin, you have to answer this. Tuhin, see, be the, the question chief is it's architect of the scam. Manish Sisodia was always seen as then the chief architect you of the scam. Why you arrest Manish Why Sanjay Singh? highlighted in one of the court judgments also. No, Sanjay Singh was possibly a collaborator. Interrogation was required at that point of time. You know, interrogation cannot be required in certain cases for infinity if, uh, you know, he has provided information which was required by the agencies and if the agency thinks that extending his custody is not required, I think the ED would be in the best position to tell you the exact details. 88% 88 of people feel this is not the turning point, the ARP's reading too much. Anmol wants to respond. Bail or trail. Anmol. Anab, have you watched that movie, uh, Mujhse Shadi Karogi? In that movie, there's one character, Dugal Sahab. No. Today, BJP wale pravaktaon ki halat kuch aisi hi hai. Ye ek din kehte hai, ji, Sharad Reddy kingpin hai. Dusre din kehte hai, Sanjay Singh kingpin hai. Tisre din kehte hai, Manish Sisodia kingpin hai. Yeah. They are all rattled. They, they, they don't, uh, uh, they are very well aware of the fact that this case will fall flat in two minutes. They have no facts to base their uh, claims and they are just uh, uh, making rhetorical statements which have no existence. Arna, bail uh, 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 hua hai, acquittal nahi hua hai. 
Anmol, in a, in a, in a fight. Sanjay Singh's bail does not Nate, absolve I, Kejriwal I, and Manish Sisodia. Can I quote the observations made by Honorable uh, Justice Khanna today, if you allow me? He very clearly said that no money has been recovered. The trace of money is not there because it was long back. Fact of the matter is that money has not been recovered. Please keep in mind that if we are required to record in terms of Section 45 no, of the MLA, then he has prime emphasized Anmol. not committed an offence. Anmol, one minute. Now I'm now I'm asking you. No, 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 one minute, one minute. File. Observation, 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 observation. We are going to play observation these, versus these observation, are, okay? These are, We're going to play a little game tonight. Made. We're going to play a little game tonight, Sohail. Honorable Our game is Khanna today. observation versus observation. Okay, you have one observation. I have four. Let's fight. Observation one. Another For every observation fact, of yours, I put one observation. Then you put one. You on put one original one. From the BJP spokesperson. I have asked every single question. I will not be directed Another, at asking any questions. I never have and never will. Observation versus you. observation. Delhi Adam High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, money made trade. the following observation. I have placed the, all the facts, but still you are not asking the, the question to BJP spokesperson. I'll start and end as I want. Hey, I'm a free man. No. Why don't you start? Certainly, but, but, I will but start. How I start, how I end is not my... Certainly, yeah, let Arnab Goswami conduct his program. When you start your channel, we'll listen to you. Let us finish you know, this. Seriously, you everybody wants to be an anchor nowadays. Yeah. They want to be the anchor. Arnab, they want to be the anchor. No, and like, why do you want to do party. my job? I'm good at my it's job. No That's why I'm doing it for all party. these years. Anchor Admi Party. This is what this is my speciality. The question is, while, because I've got so much research, you know, so much research, I have to use it. Uh, my question is, one minute, yeah, Anmol. 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 Now listen to me. This is an Ivan Lendl serve going on to you. Question is, the Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, said he was in contact with Vijay Nair and the South Lobby. The judge said, and I quote, the co co evidence collected so far clearly shows that the applicant through co-accused Vijay Nair was in contact with the South Lobby and the formulation of a favorable policy for them was being ensured at every cost. Your comments on this observation? No, my, my observation pe aap kar vishe, aap please, vishesh tippani please meri vishesh tippani ye hai ki kripa karke aap 28 paragraph ki 10vi line zarur padhe aur bar bar padhe aur main ye bhi chahunga ki aap 10th paragraph aur 12th paragraph jor jor se padh ke sunaye apne darshakon ko <laughs> because that will that will make it very clear that uh, honorable court has denied the allegation of uh, receiving 100 crore bribes 45 crores and uh, this Observation about tentative establishment. Do what not are stand. you saying? I am saying what has what been written in the order. What are you saying? One observation for the excitement. I am showing thousands of observations. You are not debating. This is not the observation. I, go, this so is the judgment so of the Supreme Court. I am giving him a thousand observations. He says I don't like your observation. I like my observation. Why? No, no. I'm, I like I'm, my I'm, observation. I'm placing, you have to I'm comment on my. Swail is not commenting on my observation. Judgment made by the Honorable Supreme Court. I am placing reliance on the judgment made by the Honorable Supreme Court. And I am placing reliance Which on the observations of the High Court system. and the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court has said a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. Did they say that let or not? Me, let me clear. Let me make... Did they? Can you say that? This is not in regard to Mr. Manish I mean, yeah, Sodhya and Mr. Arvind. On a serious note... No, no, so please, what's going on? Really, on a serious note, what is really heartwarming is that we have once again reposed our faith in the Supreme Court. There were enough comments being made on the Supreme Court That's and true. its judgments for the last three, four months. I'm glad that almost all political parties have come to the view that the Supreme Court is independent, as in my mind it always was, and hopefully will always remain. Yeah, yeah. That's to my mind is the silver lining on this very dark, ominous cloud. But a master of sarcasm. You are a, a, a wizard of sarcasm, so he'll say. I'm being genuine. There's nobody can surpass you in it. Nobody can that's surpass you. No, no, sir, I, it's a genuine that. statement, but there is a... I know, and I take yeah. it with a lot of <laughs> humility. I accept it with humility and grace. <laughs> including but rolling is, eyes. But you know, Sohel, this is going to be one of the more interesting... These are one of the interesting debates of this election season. And it's... Quite interesting. I mean, otherwise the political contest is so uneven. At least the debate on issues like this is serious. Tuhin? Tuhin? Do you have the edge yes. on this? Do you still have the yes, edge sir. on this? 
we we have a massive edge i'm telling you arna aam aadmi party was not obviously not expecting the bail today because they know their involvement in the case so they are you know they they are so over excited today that they are not able to make out the difference between a procedural bail and conviction uh, and acquittal but i think Please like i mentioned the, the wisdom uh, of supreme uh, court even brother. if he has got a bail that okay. does not okay. absolve the other two okay and i think you know on the on the one hand you know anyway, look, look at atishi the... atishi is al- already planning to get arrested in the next two months along with raghav chadda who by the way is absconding or, or i don't know where he is so if they have nothing to hide i think the but least that one expects from a responsible for the last one month of you think raghav chadda does not the have the right to raghav chadda does not have the right to raghav chadda does not have the right to be in london for a month Why are you questioning Raghav Chadda? What's wrong if he chooses to be in London? No, no, he can be Go anywhere. Go to the Thames. He can be. Meet some people for any, lunch. He can have be a coffee. anywhere. But I think you know, Aam Aadmi Party has got brilliant uh, dispensaries and brilliant uh, swast clinics which they have set up across Delhi. So I think if health is the reason, he should make make uh, he should avail of the benefits of uh, Delhi's health turnaround, as Aam Aadmi Party always claims. Maybe he wants to get treated in London. What's your problem? He likes the NHS. Supreme Court has come down heavily on Patanjali, Ayurved's co-founder, Baba Ramdev, and managing director Acharya Balakrishna for their quote absolute defiance in not filing proper affidavits about the com- company's misleading advertisements case. Everybody in the country is now looking at this, and the top court says that advertisements issued by Patanjali. have to be questioned the apex court has also warned baba ramdev this is what happened when he went to court today ramdev kya karenge supreme court mein abhi sad ho gaya bhai legal trouble continues to mount for patanjali humne coronel bana rakhi hai isme swasari jo hai phephdon ki immunity ke liye ye jo hai coronel ye puri body ki immunity ke liye to swasari khali pet do do goli subah do par sham teen baar calling out patanjali ayurveda for absolute defiance the supreme court has wrapped ramdev for defying its earlier notice in the misleading advertisement case the top court has refused to accept the unconditional apology of ramdev calling it mere lip service the supreme court took exception to ramdev for shifting the blame to the media department of the firm The bench questioned Ramdev whether Patanjali Ayurveda wasn't aware of the court proceedings. The courtroom battle came even as Patanjali Ayurveda issued an advertisement after it assured the top court last year that it refrained from making any casual statements claiming medical efficacy or against any system of medicine. The Supreme Court has granted one last opportunity to Ramdev. asking him to file a fresh affidavit in a week why did patanjali defy the top court's order let's debate rahul ishwar is pro patanjali suhail seth is observing this uh mithun vijay kumar Last time you were on the debate, Rahul Ishwar, you were on the debate. The least we can expect is that Baba Ramdev should follow what the court says. I mean, if Baba Ramdev feels that he does not need to follow the court, then the question will be Rahul Ishwar, why? Is How is no he? Doubt. The court is telling him not to put out any misleading advertisements or claims, and he continues to do so. And then he comes and says, "I'm sorry." Arnati, How will that work? Remember, he has he has rendered an unconditional apology. Unlike, uh, can, you uh, can you unmute yourself? Can you unmute yourself? Unmute yourself. Rahul yeah it, it's not mute here it's not mute here so baba ramdev just oh, one submission yeah, yeah, prashant bhushan yeah, yeah, ji yeah, yeah, refused yeah. to even pay earlier 1 rupee for 1 rupee as a contempt of court thing but baba ramdev was i know profusely apologizing and rendering an unconditional apology prashant bhushan was at last pleaded by the honorable supreme court to pay 1 rupee fine but baba ramdev graciously come to the court accepted what the supreme court said 
and also said, you know, he's Speak ready on. to officially apologize with folded hands. His advocate really used folded hands as per media reports in the Honorable Court. I hope court should be more magnanimous and mean? kind to a champion of Ayurveda and yoga who it's has popularized not. yoga and Ayurveda not only in India, but around the world. Let us not use Baba Ramdev as some kind of a scapegoat so that, you know, many people, I'm not saying court, many people can take out their anger with the whole Dharmic spectrum. See, Baba Ramdev, many people are targeting over 